Okay, just gonna get my phone up here. Here we go. Appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Uh, I should have. You could think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey. Listen up, big update here. The Arpura pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule. Hi, Fluff. I was thinking about that. I thought it might be fun. <laughs> I'm the first one in all of Hyrule to notice the shrines after the upheaval. So I created a sensor to detect them. The only thing is, I can't set up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purapad Research Lab in Hatano Village. That's right. It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pura and I developed. Put some in that lab. You, uh, you join me there. I can further improve your Pura pad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off the southeast corner of Hyrule. Its far side is Hytano Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab. All right, I'm gonna head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hytano Village. Don't keep me waiting. So, there have been a few developments since I streamed this. Let me take a sip of my drink first here. Oh, please don't explode. Okay. Oh, it's been so hot lately. I gotta turn off my fan when I'm streaming too or it'll drown out my voice. <laughs> so, uh, this is the thing now. I filled out the map, so no more getting lost. This looks like it could be interesting. I might check that out at some point. Um, if there's enough time, I might check out the big floating mazes. It, it looks like those big cube things are new mazes. So that could be interesting. And it looks like they're directly above the ones from Breath of the Wild. Neat. Uh, oh, also, I did... I followed a guide and I got... This was uh, one of my treasure maps. It's the Ocarina of Time hat. And I followed a guide to get the hood and trousers. But I accidentally knocked the uh, chest that has the uh, hat for this in uh, lava. So I have to wait for the next Blood Moon to reset the chest. That's fine. Uh, okay, uh, first off, I want to test this out. So, I take... Hopefully I don't fuck this up. <laughs> you know what? I should save. Because this is a very valuable resource I need to use to do this. A rare valuable resource. Okay, so... I, I saw the video that you shared, Fluff. And, yeah, uh, you put a star piece there. And then you link it. And then... Grab... They didn't already fix it, did they? Uh, they might have fixed it. I can't seem to lift myself.
Alright, you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the objective here. Uh, Hitano Village Research Lab. I'm at, I'm gonna be going to Mount Lanero, so while I'm here, I might as well. Hmm. I'll head to Hitano first, and then I'll do the next Koga fight, which is gonna be at Mount Lanero. I need to do some cooking. I meant to do that off stream, but I forgot. Maybe the next Blood Moon, I'll do some Blood Moon cooking. I'll save my ingredients for that. Uh, I did some testing with that off stream and it looks like Blood Moon cooking is still a thing. It carried over from Breath of the Wild. Oh, I probably should have paid attention to my... fight glitch. Perfect shot. Oh, I have other side quests to worry about. <laughs> Wait a minute, a cow icon. Hitano pasture. Is there actually a use for this? You know what? Let's take a look at what this guy has to say. Oh, you're a new face around here. If I'm any judge, welcome to Hitano pasture. <laughs> Nothing like uh, morning air on a farm, eh? Oh, that's a shame, Fluff. You're here to buy fresh milk, uh, Wanderer? Oh. Sure you are. The milk for my cows is the best in Haitano. The secrets and the special feed I make for them. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. Used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest, but... Uh, out back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking over and grabbing them all for themselves. Sometimes they drop the acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them, but they're quick little critters. I need at least three acorns to make my special feed, so it's a special problem for me. My daughter Koyan is always stirring into the pond, so I doubt she'd be any help gathering acorns. Do I have any on me? I think I have some. I might have cooked them all. Yeah, it looks like I cooked them all. I'll have to grab a few. That's an easy one. There's a squirrel right over there. I'm gonna shoot the little fucker. Shit. I miscalculated how far my arrow would shoot. At least he dropped the acorn. Oh, never mind, he didn't. It was just my arrow. It's 
so easy to get distracted in this game. Well, Fox just appears. Okay, there's one. God damn it. I don't know why Link didn't go in this bullet time there. He should have. Looks like there's a cave here. More distractions. Maybe I'll find a bloopy. Or a shrine. You know what? Let's do this shrine. I want to do a shrine. I'm going to save some shrines for my birthday stream because that's a big thing I want to focus on for that. I think that'll be fun. Lots of goofiness. Oh, the shrine is literally just enter. <laughs> A magic scepter. I killed an enemy the other day that had a, um, it had a star piece attached to a scepter, and I was able to, like, kill it and take the scepter, and I found that star pieces on scepters actually, oh, I still have it, uh, you can cast light spells. It creates, like, little lights that fly around. Anywhere they hit will become lit, like, even after they leave the area. It creates like a lingering light in the area, as if something's there lighting it, uh, until they eventually fade away. Oh, I also killed the Frost Talus. That's like the only hammer I have right now. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should do something about that. We're gonna make the Master Hammer. Hey! You can still do the light. Electric... Uh, Laser beams. Nothing in here for rocks. Is that it? Ooh. Save that for the blood moon. An ultra hand object platform with wheels right next to the Hylian's feet. Oh, this sounds like a process. Squirrels come out in the rain. Looks like for now I missed my chance from that. I'm gonna continue with this uh, Robbie quest and I'll come back for this. Oh shit. Okay, I guess the squirrels do come out in the rain.
Whoa! He's a little too high up for me, though. I want to fuse it to a weapon, but I guess I can't. Hmm. I'll come back to that. I have a lot of things to come back to already. Satori. Well, apparently I already did Kukos. I don't remember that. Everyone's scared of me because of my armor. Look on top of the building. Guardians. Yeah, give me time, Fluff. It's pretty much the only real sight of Guardians we've seen in this whole game. Yeah, I saw this too going in. I don't assume that there's any use for it. Oh. Well, that's a place for our Korok. ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that pura pad. This will only take a moment. One and two and three and four. I definitely want to get that upgrade because that was like one of the best features in Breath of the Wild was being able to search things that are on your compendium. That wraps up my chatting about it. Try testing it out with the sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's odd. The sensor reacts when you're moving toward a shrine. There's a shrine in a cave at the bottom of this hill, but the sensor isn't reacting to it whatsoever. Oh. What? You already found it. I'd expect nothing less from you. That sensor is still invaluable. It's the product of my brilliance, after all. I'd expect nothing less from me. Okay, that's cool that it actually recognizes that I already, like, did the shrine by chance, and it actually acknowledges it. <laughs> well, I told you what you need to know about the sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and not the other. So hang on a minute. 
Okay, the details are correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. There you go. The operation instructions for the sensor. You can now review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. <laughs> now, you begin to see the true potential of the Purapad. I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and get them on your Purapad at any time. As with some help from you, getting some of the final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk. If you want those upgrades, enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then. Okay. Let's get this thing boosted. A travel medallion. It's also Hero's Path mode. It allows you... Oh, let's see where you traveled thing. Pad will be perfect once I've installed all those. Okay, there's some test data. Yeah, you could basically place ports on this. This was in the DLC for Breath of the Wild. I'm really glad that this is back. This is handy. This is Nicola up in this northeastern corner. Called the Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. It's where the prototype potential feature is. I started to work on it back there. Go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my travel medallion. Yeah, that's going to be handy. I'm going to be going for that tonight. That's pretty sweet. Oh, okay, I guess I have everything I need already for this, so I just upgraded my sensor. Sweet. That's a very useful upgrade. I mean, while I was skimming through that, it looks like you can set up to five things to be scanned now. If I saw that correctly, that's awesome. Everything you should possibly want to find details about. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. Okay, uh, I'm gonna worry about this later. I, I don't wanna... I was thinking, uh, I, I might have missed my chance to get a sledge-like-like, -like, uh, in my compendium. But I, it looks like it's random what you get, and I don't wanna get something I haven't seen yet.
I'm gonna try again with those acorns real quick. That's not a squirrel. It's a bird. I'll take the meat anyways. There's a million squirrels earlier, and now there's none. Oh. Master Sword just instantly kills them, okay. I'll take the free acorns. Is that what the Master Sword does now? Is that why there's no damage li uh, level on it? It just doesn't fucking... It does just one-shot everything? That's a little busted if it is. milk water yeah 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 we had this conversation here's your acorns I'm gonna go I'm not gonna lick a gift horse in the mouth not with me at my wits end at all I don't know if this rightly makes up for it but I have a bottle on me that's it ah right, you suck dude to keep this scroll away but no reason to be nicer about it now to go mix up a batch of feed right away, but I got some more acorns. <laughs> you know, my fresh milk. It's... Okay, so I could just trade acorns for milk. I guess that's okay. I mean, you can literally just buy a. Uh, you can buy milk for really cheap. I thought it was gonna be like a special milk. Like I get like Chateau Romani or something for it. <laughs> It's a blood moon. Uh, uh, cooking, cooking, cooking. Where's a cooking pot? One, one that doesn't disappear after one use. Uh. 
I know there was one around here. Ah, oh, shit. It was over by the farm here. Oh, I'm gonna miss out on all the cooking I could do. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? This will do it. So, every time I cook during a red moon, I get crits. Every crit, every cook chance will, uh, every cook I crit. So. It can either crit the amount of health I give, or the amount of uh, effect I get. This one doesn't give health at all, it just ups my defense, that's weird. Okay, that one critted the health, while the last one critted the amount of stamina I get. It's a neat little mechanic. Uh, let's crit another hardy while I have the chance. These are gonna be busted. <laughs> Cooking speed run. I can also get that hat that I wanted. What else can I cook? pretty good. Uh, hmm. Ooh. I accidentally. There we go. All right, four of these before it ends. That's a lot of full recovers. Energetic Rhino Beetle. Fifteen minutes of level th or was that level three glow I saw? Hang on. Not bad. That's not bad at all. When the glow of the All right, let's take a look at my games here. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's a lot of attack up, some full heals. So yeah, whenever there's a blood moon, that's the time where I sign a rush to a cooking pot.
Something tells me this is gonna be a silly one. So far, not as wacky as I was expecting. A cool one, though. Was that it? That's not the end, is it? Well. I guess this technically is an early game shrine, so I shouldn't be too surprised. I should have made it to Itano ages ago. I've been faffing about. Okay. You know what? I should look around town a little bit before I go. Because there's shops here. I could get something cool. Huh. This town has like giant mushrooms now. Hi, hamster. Good compendium entry. <laughs> and this guy's just sitting there while I'm doing this. That's a voice. If you were looking at some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. So do you do? Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and die or get up to... Oh, that's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, but we also offer a fabric rework service. Videos being posted on my channel already spoiled this. Not that it's that big of a thing. It's neat. Apparently, the amiibos have exclusive uh, paragliders. Like the Majora's Mask Link amiibo, you can get like a Majora's Mask glider. Uh, bring me some fabric and I'll rework your paraglider with flying colors. <laughs> be a first-time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for the folks like you. Ta-da! Your very own introductory fabric. <laughs> hey, 
This designer runs the place now. Cooked up a cutting edge design in this fabric. Every region has its own fabric. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Rework your paraglider with it. You can fly in the skies in style. <laughs> Can I, can I die this? Please die. Can can you actually die the phantom armor now? You couldn't in Breath of the Wild. It'd be fucking sweet if you can. We can't die those clothes. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I was thinking this armor would look cool in a different color, but... There is a midnight glider design, yes. Uh, hold it right there. You can't cut in line. We're here first. Yeah, like you need armor. You're you're the warrior types. Multiple times now. I can't admit three customers at present. You took the trouble to come here, and now you're saying we can't get in. CC's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debates new material. I think I heard said it was. You know, I bet I can enter from underground somehow. I have one entry ticket remaining. A person could go in. Come on now, we can't just let one of us get a head start. I know, it's just a joke. Maybe come back later, we'll have room for all of us. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. We say we kill some time at the dye shop. The lace up the road from the pasture's lab. Yeah, uh. I've been to all that. You fucking weird mushroom people out of here. Uh. Oh. oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. No, oh, this is the part where hamster types would. And I would agree thoroughly. <laughs> also, a tourist who's come to see my sister's, I mean, the new line of Cece's product. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shops. You see yourself is there right now, in fact. That you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Uh, sorry to disappoint. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, I recall this being where you get armor. What the fuck? Am I going to be able to eventually buy that? That's, that's silly. That is just silly. No, 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 no. Link is not wearing that. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Fashionable personnel only. There's like the royal guard outfit in there. I recall this being an armor shop in Breath of the Wild. It was where you could get the suit of uh, metal armor. It was like a tanky gear. Had really good defense. This town is very different now. Uh, I don't need the squirrels anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Stop tracking that. How do I get it to stop? It's already set, though. How do I make it not set? Because I don't want it to be blipping every time I... Ugh. Whatever. This was my house in Breath of the Wild. Someone else probably lives here now. Looks a little different.
Yeah, this ain't my house anymore. What the fuck? Some other asshole moved into my house? <laughs> what the fuck? But my... This is... This is mine. Maybe this is my place, but then who the hell are these assholes? Oh god. It's her. I guess maybe this is still Lynx. He just has like really strange taste in decoration. Like he replaced all the champion weapons he hung up with portraits of random fucking people. What are those? This doesn't look like warthogs or anything. Zelda's journal. Hey, yo. You guys, Fluff, you weren't wrong. Yeah, this is, this is Zelda's place too now, I guess. Canon. Zelda and Link, canon. <laughs> After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild, and I set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I'd imagined. As I watched people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken, and they had their strong wills. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we built a school in Hytona Village. It's the largest Hydalian village and it's sprawling brown up a full land. There's so many children living here, it seemed the ideal place to found a school. Uh, I've recruited Simon from the research institute to teach here. He was Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. Overseeing the school. For a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson instruction to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by our requests. This will be his final job in Haitano before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity. A secret room. Very comfortable. Proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. So moving along smoothly. A major problem recently reared its head. I bet it's access from the well. I have enough teachers. Simon's interviewing people, but he hasn't found a way good field fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty in this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle of their as their teacher. Or in the very least, maybe Link gave the place to Zelda. That's really my first iron shrimp? Ooh, tomatoes. Zelda's secret well. Well, I guess that gives away that I was right. <laughs> A super secret well. Nobody will ever find it. This is where all of her ranchy fanfics are. Well-worn hairband. Worn simple hairband. Its color is long faded. Some life left in it. No of shit. I think I have an idea what this is gonna be. So Link's hair's down, right? Breath of the Wild. That's cool. Kind of like the hair down, though, to be honest. Oh. 
This isn't the right cap. We're not wearing that. Well, she's certainly no artist. You know what? That's probably something like one of the kids from the school drew. Oh boy. Time to read her raunchy fanfics. The calamity's over. Its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Luke remains at my side. The kindness that has taken a visible toll in his clothing. That's why I'm here in order to, to order a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room. So we won't find it until after our, our investigation. You wouldn't expect the torches are the key. Oh shit. I guess we're going on a quick little adventure. We're going to Hyrule Castle throne room. Surely a side quest like early in the game wouldn't lead me straight to Ganondorf, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is a safe quest to do. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I was a little miffed. <laughs> At first I thought some random person moved in. And now I'm going to Hyrule Castle to get the champion's tunic. I read Zelda's diary. Uh, torches are the key. I don't have a torch on me, but I'll probably find some up there or on the way. I have room for two. I got the uh, upgraded sensor so I can search for anything. You can just use fire in general. Okay, cool. I've got some fire fruits on me I can throw. Obviously, I get why he isn't here now, but I kind of miss the Hyrule Castle music that played in Breath of the Wild on your march up. Kind of stinks that there's no enemies here, too. I want, like... Dark nuts and shit like marching around everywhere. <laughs> oh, I hope there's dark nuts in this game. Nintendo always makes the best fights with them. They're always really cool enemies. Uh, I didn't get the travel medallion, but I got the quest for it. I'm going to be doing that tonight for sure. I like how there's like random explorers like travel in the castle. This is the inside of Hyrule Castle. It's practically a maze, huh? Yeah. Oh, Link, right? Sorry about that. I didn't see you there. I'm no bureau. Still a bunch of valuable treasure and weapons inside the castle, so they asked me to guard the place from thieves. But I'm a little lost. Oh, don't you worry about me. Go right ahead. I mean, you are from the castle after all, so yeah. Okay. Oh, I hear monsters. Okay, here we go. Black Horribles. So Master Sword's pretty good. I wonder if it breaks. Like if it's like Breath of the Wild. I guess I'll find out in time. It is like Breath of the Wild. Thought so. Makes sense. Can I?
Wish I could get it in the... Okay, uh, I give up for now. You can fuse it to items now, though. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I saw that. I haven't figured out what I want to fuse it to. I wonder if it negates gloom if I attach Phantom Ganon's weapons to it. I'm getting very sidetracked again. Haven't really explored the castle any. Ow. Oh, that hurt. You know, I gotta stop using these sticks. There's, there's better things I can use for weapons. I, I found that, uh, if you take any old, like, sword or something and attach a horn to it, it actually replaces the blade properly, and it looks pretty cool. No chance. Get him, Rizu. <laughs> Is that a pristine soldier's bow? Huh. Oh, I guess I already had a photo of a pristine one in the... Underground. Frame rate's a little choppy in here. Nothing life destroying, though. It's probably because I'm streaming. Oh! You know, I'm in a dangerous place. I should probably armor up. Right? This is such a cool armor set. A shame you can't diet or upgrade it. Can I lift this? I can. Oh, it actually, it's like on a hinge properly. That's cool. Royal Hidden Passage. Yep, there it goes. Okay, that lasts a decent amount of time. Something that strong, too. Uh, let's get some of this stuff out. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, fuck. No problems. You get says. <laughs> I should probably cap up my health. I took a little bit of a beating from those bacoblins. It's fucking hot in this room. I did a little bit of blood moon cooking at the start of the stream. Uh. I don't 
get why those didn't give me health as well. Let's do that, and then I'll just, like, eat a raw food thing in here. It's fucking raw! Ganondorf is awaiting his fated battle with Link, and Link just dies in a fucking dark room from Salmonella. You know what? Let's go with some quick weapons. For a cool base. Hang on. We only got to attach it to. Let's sort by attack power. Too extravagant. I need to stock up on arrows some more. Beneath this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the Demon King. I'm sure the king's magic would hold. I erected a castle here to protect the sacred site. Let the castle in place. The site may be disturbed, allowing the Demon King's hatred and rage to be revived. The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. Eternal peace. Oh, I hate these. Waste of bombs. At least it was a short one. You can break him with our lightning. Oh, the uh, mini talus. I want to test it on this. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, hello down there. <laughs> This went from me going to the throne room to get the champion's tunic to me going deep underneath Hyrule Castle to fight like random shit and get random chests. I haven't even done the Koga thing yet. I originally planned on being like the first thing. Fuck this game. <laughs> the Rockwells. Oh, that's good to know. Come on, do the thing. Yep. Oh, I know. I know, not at all. I, I saw an entranceway, and I just had to go in. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to explore the castle a little bit. It'll be just a couple minutes. It'll be fine. Fuck this stupid game, it's stupid.
Okay, that's handy. It's just too bad it takes a bit for her to recharge, but it'll save me at least one bomb. Yeah. And at least these don't respawn even after Blood Moon. Breaking my precious equipment. Hey, Riju, are you ready for another? Let's just get this out of the way. You're not Riju. You are. It's hard to tell. You all look the same. I am going further and further and further from my destination. Yeah, I'm going to turn around, guys. I'm going to explore this some other time. There, there'll be plenty of opportunity to explore the castle. What's in here? <laughs> oh, okay. This was worth it. This is worth it, guys. This is justified. We got a lot of bombs in here. Probably not as many as I spent getting in here, but there's bombs. Apparently, you can ascend through Koroks. Nope. Dungeon length came system. Okay. I'll save it for the future then. Uh, oh, this way. Get up there, Link. What if I ascend here? I can't. I had it for a second. Wow, well, shit. I'll just do it here. I wonder if a ceiling ever gets so... Like, thick that Link can't make it all the way up. Because I've gotten through some really thick ones. I actually... I found a spot where I was able to, like, reach the roof of the underground. And I was able to dig all the way up to the surface. So I'm wondering if there's a limit on that aspect of it. Or if it's like as long as you can hit the ceiling, then you can go up infinitely. Because that seems to be how it works. Like the only limit is like whether or not you can reach the ceiling. That's cool. I had it for like a split second. Just, there we go. Hello. If I could just reach one of those waterfalls or something. Some sections of the depths actually have exits to the overworld that work that way. That's cool. Do I have any rocket shields left? No. I might have a rocket on me, though. 
Here we go. Wonder if this is enough. But if this is gonna work, it's gonna be real tight. Ah! Maybe I can cheese this with a send. Oh, if this is gonna work, it's gonna be fucking beautiful if it does. Oh, <gasps> yes! Castle music. Stop moving your head around. Oh, this is cool music. Also, a brand new theme for Iron Castle. It's not like the traditional one. Anyways. Before I get sidetracked some more. Cool. This garment worn by those in good standing with Hyrule Royalty been reworked with the latest improvements, such as a new shoulder guard. That looks cool. Classic. Yeah, I like the shoulder pad. That looks cool. Okay, before I get too sidetracked, no, no, actually, there is one thing worth doing here. Maybe I should try to find some way to open up like a shrine or something up here. Like if there's some way I could fast travel, that is actually something worth doing real quick before I go. I don't suppose there's a shrine anyway. You know what? I should probably set my sensor to... Oh! That's how I can turn it off. Okay. I was trying to turn it off from like, the squirrel from my compendium earlier. This music is getting very ominous the higher I get, so something tells me that Ganondorf is around here somewhere. Uh, I probably want to avoid getting to the tip. 
He's not? Really? Why is it getting so ominous? Huh. Alright, I'm gonna trust you on it, because I know that you know, so... I know you wouldn't... Lead me astray! Cannot be encountered by accident just by walking into a random room. Okay. What is it, something like Skyward Sword, where there's like a spot where you have to like warp to him? And you get like a warning? Skyward Sword is a game I need to do in the future. That's a good game. A lot more hate than it deserves. Even if it is the only Zelda game that I've only played through once. There it is. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the HD version. It shouldn't be, like, too long in the future where I have, like, spending money for things like that. So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, there's no, like, rush for it. It's not like Tears of the Kingdom where it was, like, the brand new Zelda game and I absolutely had to play it immediately. Um... When I can get it, I'll get it, though. In the meantime, there's plenty of other games I need to stream, including finishing Persona. there. I feel like this one can be very easily cheesed. Literally just do this. Hold it for a few seconds. Step over here. Place it down nice and careful. This rewind feature is so busted. <laughs> These things just aren't puzzles. <laughs> Another upgrade after this. Good, just close. It's so broken. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think that's what I was supposed to do at all. <laughs> Someone, like, put their heart and soul into developing this, like, puzzle. <laughs> I love this game. It's so good. Okay, uh... Huh. There's gotta be something here, anyways. Maybe not Ganondorf, but there's, like, something going on here. This is, like, a dungeon. Like, like, floors. That's very interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come here in a future stream and do some exploring. This is gonna be like a Dark Link boss or something. Like a completely optional boss with like a new piece of armor or something. Okay... Yeah, I'm intrigued by that. Now, I'm going here. Time to fight Koga. I looked up some maps to figure out where he is, so this time I'm not going to be wandering around in circles for two hours before giving up. <laughs> it turns out, the reason I couldn't reach them in the last stream is because you can't. You actually have to go through a specific hole for these two. Because they're cut off. At least I know the one after this one is. Or one of them is. I haven't seen the motorcycle, but I really would be, I'd be surprised if it isn't in this game at all. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be in it somewhere. I would be shocked. I'd love to find that if it is in this. Let's get some light. As you'll probably see. I, uh, I did some exploring here off stream. As you can tell. I got a pretty good chunk of the map. Um, I was following... Oh yeah, I started marking the bosses. This is where the uh, Wind Temple boss is. And then over here was where we found the Water Temple boss. I haven't found the others yet. Um, I followed a map to find, uh, some of the wild outfit, because I wanted the wild outfit for when I fight Ganondorf. Not even the best armor piece, it's just, uh, it's not even the best armor set, it's just, it looks, it just looks cool. <laughs> so I figured it wouldn't hurt to go get it with a guide. <clears throat> There's another light right over there, it looks like. I'm getting sidetracked again. Like, I, I need to be going, like, south. But, here we go. Another flux. What one's this? It's a two. <laughs> These things are a joke.
Oh yeah, I've pretty much got everything I need to finish my batteries. I should do that too while I'm down here. Maybe that'll be uh, the final thing I do after beating Koga. It's finishing out my batteries. What can I do with these? You know, these pulverizers aren't even that great at this point. <laughs> I might just leave it. You know what? Let's add it to my Master Sword. Why not? Sure. Still no idea how much damage it does, but it's it's got plus 20 now. Oh, wow, that's interesting. It adds runes to it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Let's just, I, I gotta get in the habit of doing this. I just use the sort to... There we go. A little extra light over here to expand it. <gasps> okay, at least I'm not too far down. Well, shit. I got light bulb pants. All of these shrines were named by Nobunga. Okay, so... I'm not 100% sure of the direction. I know it's like somewhere south, like southeast-ish. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this. This armor set is pretty nice. I'd like to get the third piece of this, the helmet. Um, basically, uh, so those that don't know what it does, there's like those two blue hearts on the top left there. When I wear it, this acts as a buffer. I take damage to those before taking it to my real health, which I'm gonna do if I don't get out of there. Very handy. They recharge after a few seconds. Very nice armor set for exploring down here. Honestly, I probably don't even need the helmet because it's nice having the little lanterns. Even if they just give a little bit. Clover Gazette quest line outside of Rito Village. It's one of the most important side adventures because it's how uh, how much it unlocks. Um, I did encounter it. That's the thing with the people on the stage, right? Yeah. I think that's to do with the great fairy, right? The people with the stage, because I did find a couple great fairies, and they say they want music.
Today is going to be a side questing day, though. Uh, I'll definitely be checking it out. Whatever it is. I've been slacking on the side questing. Uh, I almost feel like I should look up a map real quick. Like, I feel like it should be closer than this. That's the first quest in the quest line, but you need to properly start it at the stable before you can open up any of the great fairies. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. If not this stream, it'll be the next stream. I think next stream might be side quest one too. And I'll end it with me going to Death Mountain. Okay, looks like we found the mine. Yeah, yeah, too much content, that's accurate. It's very, very overwhelming at times. Part of me regrets streaming this. On the other hand, I kind of don't. It's been fun. But it, it does trigger that stress that I get from streaming large games. be a bad thing, but it's also when been stalling, finishing the story, and fighting Ganondorf. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Ganondorf fight. That's gonna be cool. I hope that he's actually hard this time. <laughs> he's very disappointing in Breath of the Wild. That looks like the thing I'm after. I think we've arrived. Maybe not. Oh. Not a bad thing, though. It's so fucking hard to find anything down here. I know that the last one won't be too difficult, because it's like a straight shot down from Rito Village, apparently. Like, it just leads you straight into the chamber. Or you fight him for the last time. I can get to that. Maybe it'll light up enough for me to see where the fuck I'm going. And it's gone. It's somewhere up there. If I can get close enough to the ceiling, maybe I can zap up to it. Probably what they expect you to do over here. Okay, progress. I 
hate not seeing. <laughs> I thought that was gonna hit in front of me. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, I think it's time to whip out a vehicle. I try to conserve, because the stuff can be pretty damn expensive to place. Unable to see, Link accidentally strikes the first tower. You know what would be really great is if I could trigger... Tullin's ability to... make a boost behind me. While I'm flying. Okay, that helps. I believe it's south of here that I want. I feel like go around a bit because I know that it's going to be sealed. It's like a circular setup. That's what I want. I want to keep going around. It's going to be like the southwestern end of this like circular wall of rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I hate to jump down from here, but oh, there's another one right there, too. The more of these I get, the more I'll open up the map and I'll actually be able to see the destination. Just so I don't lose it. Here, I thought this part of the stream was gonna be like a 10 minute thing. Go here, fight uh, Koga. Go there, fight him again. <laughs> the map made it seem so quick. Probably because I'm not doing this efficiently. I'm, I'm, I hope I didn't go too far. You know what? I'm going to look up a map again real quick. Just to make sure I'm not wasting time here. You know what? I forgot. This is a good uh, thing to go by. Uh, it's supposed to be directly underneath Zora's, Zora's Domain. I think. That's it, right? I'm going to... 
check this. Uh, okay. Hop down the South Akala Plains Chasm. Slightly north. I went down the wrong chasm. Head south and you should reach the mine directly beneath Zora's domain in no time. Yeah, I went the wrong fucking way. Shit. South Akala Plains. This is the one I want. Well, I got a new place that I can fast travel to in the future, do some exploring. It'll probably be my end time, though. To be honest, I don't feel like the uh, the depths are the most interesting place to stream. I end up with like two hours of just the black screen and my dumbass voice that nobody wants to hear. I get through some of my tasks fast enough, I'll check out one of the other Gleoks that I haven't fought yet. See what their second phase is like. Just a prank, bro. Okay, this looks like it. How much quicker that was. You can even like see it basically, like right off the bat. I should have looked at the map sooner. What the fuck? Oh, it's just a statue. Looked like Phantom Ganon in the distance just standing there menacingly. that shrine or that light so I guess just follow the statues I think it's time for the light bulb pants to come back on. Those really don't do much, do they? Hang on, I think I have... I made a good food earlier. Look at that, 15 minutes of tier 3 glow. And it does absolutely nothing, and <laughs> it's such a useless effect. You really do just have to just light everything with your bulbs. That's the way to do it. I'm curious to see what you get for actually beating Koga. Is 
this the right way? I feel like I'm going off the path. This is just, I'm gonna find out. I think this is it. Oh yeah, there's literally, literally a statue right here. Yep. Okay. Can I take a picture of him right now? This is like one of those videos where a thief gets like caught and like a pictures are taken of him on like video and they start getting all mad like you're the one that did something wrong. <laughs> He's not very bright. <laughs> hey, dickhead. I'm over here. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off? No, that's still not working. Ah, how long have you been there? Why, you little... You tried to catch me off guard, didn't you? You... Cowardly sneak. Like I said before, my plan has changed. But we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just, uh, you know... I was killing time. Don't like bulb pants stay on during sex. I think I already read that. You get it anyway? I can't believe you've followed me to another mine. Persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh. Boat. I've got things to do, let's, so let's make this real quick. Yiga clan, attack! Alright, we gotta do this proper. Yeah, we'll wear it. I should probably put the boat in the water, right? That usually helps. Oh, this is a poop boat. I'm gonna cut him off. Balls. Maybe I should just use my bow, right? <laughs> I just wanted to board it like a pirate. That's all I wanted from life. You know what? I will. I'm gonna do this the right way. Ugh, fuck you! <laughs> this is how you board a ship. <laughs> I'll take this. Better boat. Alright, let's get these dicks out of the way. I 
should heal. Yeah, crush your friends. Disassembling his boat, that would be funny. The steering stick got, st uh, got wet, so my hand slipped. No matter, once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place had to offer. And there's more. I got word from my underlings that they've located the man himself. They found the Demon King. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Yiki Clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. Mm. We have more than enough crystallized charges now. There's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Mm. Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final excavation. The Northwestern abandoned mine awaits. This feels like main quest stuff rather than side quest at this point. I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer it to the Demon King and... Bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. I wonder, if you don't fight Koga, does he actually appear on the road to Ganondorf? Like, that would be kind of interesting if he fought alongside Ganondorf, like assisting him with all the vehicles. That'd be kind of cool. Everything involved in the Yiga's side content. Uh, I imagine this will lead me to Ganondorf, though. It's starting to seem that way. Like it'll tell me how to get to him. Greetings. Thank you for eliminating the... Uh, this is basically all the same stuff they always say. Well, I have enough charges to finish my battery. The known way to enter the depths is through the chasms. After the upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. At the beginning of the depths proves to be treacherous. Try leaving and returning through a different chasm. Before we conquer the depths, we must find every entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. This is somewhere open inside a cave. I'm sure, this is not the only concealed entrance. There are many, uh, it may even be holes that do not seem to be chasms at first glance. But take heart, the gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon. Most can be seen from above. Glory to Master Koga. Let's see what I get for a... You don't even have to go to their hideout or anything. It's still in the game. It's something else entirely. Hmm. New schematic. Oh, cool, I can build a shitty boat. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not such a terrible thing. I can get rid of the shitty boat that I made a schematic of and free up a favorite spot. It's 
So, I kind of already have the chargers I need, so I guess I could just use the large zonite that I've collected to make charges. Right? So, how much do I have on me? Yeah, look at this. 76 large zonite. And I just need 300 to make a battery, and I already have 600 just from fighting Koga. Like, that's all I need. I'm down to the last two cells here. Oh, these are cheap to buy, too. I don't know if I can make this. Oh, because I was too lazy to just grab a boat. Oh, 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 oh! I don't know if uh, boosting would be enough. Okay. I have a quick pet stop to make before fighting Koga for the last time. Time to finally get this done. Been a long time coming. Further visits, what would the point in that be? I saw some videos where people had a blue bar. Can I actually, like... Actually, 16 cells, not just 8. So that's how that works. I didn't know if that was going to be, like, another upgrade separately later. So I'm guessing that's, like, the um, like the double health upgrade in Ocarina of Time where I'm just going to have, like, a different charged colored bar and it's going to be, like, better. That's cool. Oh, that's going to be... That's a lot of power, too. Well, good thing... Mm. It's a good thing those uh, charges I bought didn't cost so much. Looks like I still got some work to do on that. Uh, Where is it? Rito... Right here. I'm dumb. Somewhere around here should be a hidden... Uh, entrance to the depths. The chasm. I should visit Tech Kakariko and Terrytown.
There's too much stuff. <laughs> it's so overwhelming. Uh, so somewhere around here was a chasm. I don't remember where. I just remember seeing it. It was like hidden under the rocks or something. And apparently... Apparently it actually leads straight to Koga for the final fight. I'm just going to drown myself and get back up to the top. Die. I must die. I think it was like the southeastern part of this place or something. Free opal. Oh, fine, I'll bite. Yeah. Little fuckers. Okay, from now on, whenever I see a hidden chasm, I should enter it so that it at least gets marked on my map. I gotta not do this to myself in the future. I don't know if I want to go up or down. It's got to be down somewhere, right? How about I just look it up? I still have the map up from earlier. Yeah, it's in the southern part of the village. It's down the southern end. It's a little more eastern than western, though. I apparently wasn't far. It's gonna be like around this section somewhere. Or not. Oh, and here comes the rain. It was time for Link to die. I know I've seen it before. 
you know what? I'm gonna get to the top and I'm just gonna glide off and get a nice high view. And maybe I'll see it. I'm just going to casually see it on my way out. This should be good enough, anyways. I don't get it. What am I missing? Such a tiny hole. So easy to miss. Time for the final battle. Well, I don't have to worry about losing this one again. Just as the guide said, it is completely cut off from everything. This is the only way to get to this mine. That's a tricky one. He's waiting for me. You know what? I think this is time for uh There's like a Yiga base behind him. Oh, this is a good shot. Mm. 
I've been waiting for you. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. And now, our gift to the Demon King. A weapon beyond compare. Will be reborn. Today, we'll go down in infamy. As the day of our ultimate weapon's resurrection. And the day the world faced its end. Behold this feat of engineering. A weapon since I was gonna make the <laughs> it actually is Metal Gear. What the fuck? <laughs> this unstoppable Zonai construct. Count your blessings, Link. Your death will prove Vega Clan's might. Then I'll go take my rightful place. In the darkness below the castle, where the demon king now dwells. Yes, where the end of all things will begin. In the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Now, come and get me. This time, I'll bury you. Yeah, get him, guys. <laughs> That's effective. Okay. Throw another bitch. You drop something. <laughs> yeah, get him sight on. Poke that bung. Oh, you can, like, knock him into the... Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of different ways to fight him. Oh, I didn't even get the final kill. I was gonna zap him. Ah, oh, my beautiful weapon. Oh, my work destroyed. You little twerp. Why is he so squeaky? I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. You think I'm just going to let this stand, do you? <laughs> the time to bust out my serious moves. I 
brand new technique I came up with in the deepest darkness of the deepest depths. I, it will destroy you. He's gonna kill himself again. <laughs> After all that, this is his ultimate weapon. <laughs> this will end. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Now fly, Coco Rocket. <laughs> His <laughs> stupid dick. How dare you, Link? I'll have my revenge! His fucking Team Rocket energy. He finally just blasted off into a twinkle. Aw, oh, that was a great quest line. I don't regret doing that one one bit. Fantastic. I'll come to you. Please wait a moment. Thank you for driving out the trespasser. I watched you battle closely. It isn't likely to appear in another abandoned mine. His manner of departure attests that mines similar to this one can be found under the thriving surface settlements are the place of distinction. There appears to be some connection between the surface and the depths. Very curious. Perhaps you find this equally intriguing. Maybe a good idea for you to explore this connection. Just one other thing before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages schema stones. You may want to ask for one. I had a feeling. It seemed like you'd be somewhere under Hyrule Castle. A diamond. Well, that's it. I was kind of hoping for something unique. For Giga should keep a glorious purpose kindled in their heart by singing our anthem at least three times a day. Giga clan, anthem of the depths. Be clumps of earth. Glory to Koga and the mighty Giga clan. Our master of the strongest. He's got a secret plan. His fall from uh, sand to darkness to bring him to the depths. But did he waver? Never. Into action leapt. Giga clan then followed hearts, fiery and true. We'll soon raise our weapon, revived by a stone blue of blue. In the dark we dwell now. We convert the depths of earth. Soon we'll rise to take Hyrule for everything it's worth. Glory to Koga and the mighty Yiga clan. The earth itself will tremble. Our ascension is at hand. Glory to Master Koga. That was a cool boss. And I, I noticed that there's like a few different ways you could fight it too. You could knock it into the sides. Shoot at him. With the lightning. you're able to take control of the mech and punch him. That'd be funny. I wanted to try it, but I didn't know how I could feasibly get into it with how high up it was. Once a busy refinery for a great deal of zone, it was processed. And there's just designs for mining equipment. Oh, please be the schematic for the mech. That would make this so worth it. Oh, never mind. Or how you would even control that thing. Well, at least I have plenty of places to get this stuff now. 
shouldn't take too long for me to get the stuff upgraded now. Yeah, ha ha. Do that. Well, I guess that's that for this. What is going on over here? Hang on. I need to investigate this. It seems to be some sort of platforming challenge. Oh, right, yeah, I, I, I know that, actually. I just kind of, it slipped my mind. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, there's no Koroks down here. There definitely isn't. I think I would have seen one by now with how thoroughly I've explored down here. if what if I don't know if I can oh wrong oh no not what I was hoping would happen I was wondering if I could just cut straight to the top of this oh, I would have yeah it slopes it wouldn't work Might not be Koroks down here, but there is treasure. Ah! No, no, no. Eh. It's something. Not sure what you're supposed to really do with those without moving them. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and zap out. Uh, I do have one more task I could do down here. Uh, that's the Gerudo mine. Where was it again? It's up here, I think. Yeah, somewhere around this lava should be the uh, cap of the wild. This is where you fight the Wind Temple boss if you want to do the rematch. So, the last time I tried to get this cap, I ended up uh, accidentally blowing it into lava with Tullin's ability. So, I had to wait for the Blood Moon that happened at the start of the stream before I could finish the set. sure I go the right way. It's going to be like around here somewhere. I think it's the upper, the northern part of the lava area. I don't remember. Oh, it's a little high up there. 
Don't mind me. Not that you're a challenging boss. Actually, maybe it is challenging down here. Like, maybe there's no gusts when you fight it. Hi, intro. And this has become another episode of Play Along with Cloppy. <laughs> I kind of like that about these streams. So we'll just hop in and say hi, and then you see them pop up in game. This game's pure pressure. Whenever I start playing it, I just see other people suddenly hop in and start playing it. It's too irresistible. I'm kind of glad I took the break from this, though. I do feel like I kind of needed it. I was kind of overplaying this, and I was getting a little burnt. I'm ready for more adventure now. <gasps> you did all the tear stuff? Oh my god, that cutscene with Queen Sonya getting pulped. Holy shit. You know they made the secret stones look tear shaped on purpose. Like they wanted to mislead people on what the tears of the kingdom were. Oh, uh, right. I forgot about this. Oh, and there's Hamster. Hey, Hamster got it! Welcome to the club. Uh, okay, that's an issue. Wait, what's, what's, what's burning on me here? Oh, my bow. Your brother bought it. Good shit. Have fun. You want to finish Breath of the Wild first? Oh, you still haven't finished that, huh? Yeah, you definitely want to finish that first, because I don't think that's a game that I'm going to be able to come back to, personally. Like, this is Breath of the Wild, but better. Eh, there, there's some things in Breath of the Wild that I would like to come back to, actually. So I guess that's not true. Oh. I think it's over here. There's the slope that you have to, like, jump from. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool just seeing, like, this big boss monster just floating around in the background. I love that bosses aren't restricted to dungeons anymore. Like, that was, like, one of my favorite things that Breath of the Wild did. Was just turning the game into Monster Hunter. Where's the chest? This is supposed to be where it is, isn't it? In the guide I saw... They jumped from this. And the guide showed them jumping to that from here. Unless it's a completely identical spot in this area, that chest just isn't showing. I 
I do not want to activate that. I could have swore this was where it was. Maybe over here? Will it just never respawn because I knocked it into lava the first time? Like, is that just gone now? That's bullshit if that's the case. Yeah, it doesn't seem like something they would do. I'm gonna double check the map on this real quick. I'm sorry to keep minimizing the game to look at maps. I don't like having to do that. Tears. I'm accidentally starting up Discord. I don't want that. Okay, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Cap of the Wild location. Tunic. Okay, that's where I got the trousers. Uh, apparently it's nowhere near this. Cap is in the northwestmost part of the depths, hiding in a skeleton skull at negative 39563721. The map shows... Okay, it's like northeast of here. Hebra Dark Skeleton. So it's going to be, like, up here somewhere. Uh, sure, intro. I got some light bulb clothes. Some, uh, I got some of the Mystic set. Nothing, like, too crazy. I guess I'm going northeast for the cap. I have a general idea where it is, at least. I'm gonna make predictions as to what Entro saw. That one time. He said that he fought an enemy that gave him a hard time. That it used up all of his resources. I've basically been everywhere at this point. Except for like Death Mountain. I haven't explored much. So I'm going to guess Dodongos. That's going to be my guess. That is something. If they made those like the NES. Then those would be a resource hog. You know what? There's lava over here. And the first guide that I saw did have lava. So maybe this is the lava that I need. light cool nice big light so it should be around here somewhere Gliok I almost want to check that out Hmm. 
is that lava? Maybe I'll check out a few of those areas. You think it's an enemy that I fought before, just not a variant? What, was it a construct? I fought all three types of flux. It's a new Lionel type? Oh, it's a Lionel type? Yeah, that's nothing too crazy then. Um, if it's a special new... It's like if it's like a brand new variation though. Oh, you know what? I bet it's a gold. They brought golds in, didn't they? That'd be fucking sweet. Well, I'll, I'll see when I get to it. I'm sure I'll see one eventually. But that'd be cool. If it's a new Lionel type. It may as well have been go- Oh, now you have my interest. Oh, I need to see whatever this thing is. You know what? I'm gonna do a little- Oh, this is what I was looking for. I'm gonna do my thing down here for a bit, Entro. And that's not what I was looking for. I've been lied to. Oh, wait, it's gonna be in a skull. I need to find, like, a skull. Right up here. That's what I need. Okay. So, um... Oh, that must... You know what? That looks exactly like the chest in that guide that I saw before when I was looking for the cap. I bet the guide was sent... Like, sent I, I skimmed through it because I didn't want to spoil anything. Uh, I wanted to risk bumping any spoilers in the guide. Uh, I did the same thing with Koga. Um, but, um... I just kind of skimmed over it, and the guide had a picture of a chest like that. It was probably just saying, like, hey, you can get these crystallized charges on the way. That's probably all that was. A lot of guides will do that. Interesting structures down here. I think, uh, I think the Gazette and other great fairy stuff, I think that's probably going to be next stream. <laughs> With how long this stuff's going. I don't know. We'll see. It's still 1038. Hello there. Rizu, do your thing. Let's get this shit out of here. <laughs> Actually, I can't wait to use these. There it is. Our prize awaits. This area is completely lit, but this is one I haven't done yet. I wonder if that'll boost the lighting some. Despite that, maybe make them all bigger. Let's see why I wouldn't. In the very least, the... I've already been to this one. Wow, I was this close to it before, not even knowing it. Right in my sights. This is a long one. Holy shit. I want to see whatever this thing was alive. I want to fight it. Yeah. 
This has turned into an expedition. There it is. Somewhere in here is my prize. Sounds like there's some horriblins. There it is. We got silvers. Nice. Yeah, I'll see you later, fellas. So, I kind of want to check this area out. There's a King Gleok here that I bumped into when I was trying to... Yeah, I got spoiled on the King Gleok, by the way, while I was playing off-stream. Yeah, it's crazy how much, like, investment it takes to actually get this map filled out. I kind of wish it was like, uh... The towers where you could like fill out regions. You just flurry rush to Keese. I didn't even know you could do that. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to get into a real serious fight here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this thing. What the fuck are you doing down here, dude? Uh, hello. Hang on. Hang on. This needs to be dealt with. All the dragons come down here. That's cool. Gonna be enough. Shit. Ugh, they're so hard to get to. Oh, I miss Rivali's Gale so much. Alright, that's a bust. It'd be kind of cool if the light dragon did have like a path and like everywhere it passed through it like lit the area. Uh, I don't know how to reach it from here. The uh, other thing I was doing. A Hylian pinecone into a fire. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's right. Yeah, pinecones create a lot. Uh, hi. I think that's a black frox. Obsidian. Yep. You know what? I'm going to make a plane and I'm going to do some flying. I'll figure out a way to get to the Gleok. Oh, that's right. Key swings. Uh, yeah, I didn't think of that. I have a ton of those. What the fuck is all this? There's like some sort of like a... Uh... Okay, this isn't the King Gleok, but let's take a look at this. This looks cool. That's the fire temple. Huh. The fire temple's down here? That's cool. Guess we're doing a flyover. I gotta 
put something on though. Wait, oh, that's not enough. I actually have to wear two pieces. Wow, so there is a temple down here. Cool. I like the variety of the temple locations. I like that it isn't all just sky islands. Huh. Okay, not quite what I was looking for, though, so I'm going to go ahead and go this way. There's a thing over there. I think my plane is taking damage from the heat. Yeah, I know that the star fragments create, like, a trail when you fly with them. That looks cool. Oh, okay, the Gliok Den has to be entered from the west. When I was looking for a piece of the uh, wild tunic, I managed to get caught in there, not realizing that I'd like caught myself inside of a ring. And I was like running in circles frantically while this thing is trying to fucking kill me. I don't think I'm gonna fight this thing. I just wanna look at it. I wanna show it off. Maybe I'll make like one attempt at it. I don't know, though. I feel like this is, like, the last Gliok that I should fight. Like, it just feels right. I feel like I should kill the Frost and uh, Electric first. And this is, like, the final challenge to come back to. Yeah, this thing was, like, one-shotting me through my, uh, phantom armor. I could probably cheese it with bullet time and just shooting its faces, but... Then again, maybe I'm... Overestimating myself. Oh god, there it is. Look at that, it even has malice too. It's a its attacks would actually like I'm gonna get a picture at least. I'm going to save so that I keep the picture. All three elements.
Don't run from me, Sidon. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, time to go. <laughs> you know what I want to do? This is the Coliseum, right? I used to like the Coliseum. I wonder if there's anything different to it. <laughs> Side on fleas, yeah. No, Link, we must run. I think there's something over there, but I haven't been to it yet. I did notice that that King Gliok has a uh, one of those gloom chests. I wonder what's in it, if there's anything special, or if it's just going to be a high tier weapon. Okay, we travel west. Maybe I should check out one of those floating mazes like I said I would do earlier. Maybe I should go for the uh, medallion too, the tribal medallion. That'd be a good thing to have. Dual peaks. Uh, man, there's so many places I want to revisit. The Great Plateau. There's the Colosseum, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Hello there. Ah, uh, food. good armor on now. I haven't found Terrytown yet. Actually, that's a place that I talked about wanting to do tonight, but as you can see, this game is very fucking distracting. <laughs> In fact, that was going to be one of the first things that I was going to do, was check out the towns. I went to Haitano and got my sensor and the upgrade for the sensor, and then I went on a fucking adventure. <laughs> it's two super useful things there. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out. You know what? I am going to prioritize that. Right after this Coliseum, I'm going to get distracted with something else, and then next stream... Maybe I'll check out Terrytown. <laughs> nah, I'll try to do Terrytown after this. And the bright side about this being a Coliseum is I can't really see anything outside of it. Okay. I guess we're fighting a Gliok. <laughs> None of this is electric, I believe. I should actually be good for this fight. Seems regular arrows do the trick. Well, after this, I'll just have ice left. These guys aren't that bad, honestly. 
Once you have a good bow, it's a cakewalk. The rain might actually be a problem with his electricity. I gotta be careful of that. I'm not even going to give him time to do phase two. Oh, okay. Looks like we're going into phase two. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to do, and I'm terrified. Okay, he creates like randomly placed drafts. And I have to like dodge lightning. Holy shit. Down he goes. <laughs> My compendium entry is Sidon slaying the beast. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that went well. That wasn't so bad. All that's left is the ice one. Maybe that'll be how I end the stream tonight. First, though, let's go to Terrytown. I mean, you know what, though? I'm here. I might as well explore this a little bit. Because, uh... In Breath of the Wild, there was some good loot here. And I just, like, fought a Thunder Gliok. So I think it stands to reason that there's probably loot here again. So let's check the tiers and then head straight to Terrytown. No other distractions. You know what's here? Okay, so there is something here. Cool. There's a shrine, too. Which means I can come back here in the future. I like how I didn't even need any gadgets to fuck around this time. I just, I just casually shot it in the head every time it got up. Imagine how easy they'd be if I had motion controls. There's a puzzle here to open up a chest. Oh, that's cool. Don't I have a haste potion or something on me? I thought I did. Okay, there's a chest down there. I just have to figure out a way to open a thing. Okay, and I suppose it's something I do down there with it and not like anything up here. I'm gonna check up here anyways. This, in Breath of the Wild, was the best place to farm elemental weapons. Because every tier had one of each weapon being wielded by an enemy. You could get a fire spear, fire sword, fire great sword. Then you go up a tier and it's like ice spear, ice sword, ice great sword. And then the next one is like all the electric shit. This was a great spot to farm. I spent a lot of time here doing that. Because I really liked the elemental weapons. Speaking of which, I just realized... I haven't seen a single elemental weapon so far. I wonder if they got cut because of the new mechanics. Doesn't look like there's anything up here at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and back down. Yeah, yeah, you have to make them with fusion. It'd be kind of cool if uh, you could get one that's already elemental. Okay, this is it right here. 
It'd be cool if we get one that's already elemental. And I see what's going on here. And, like, fuse two different elements. Like, just fire and ice, and it creates, like, a blast sword or something. Like, like a monster hunter. That wasn't so difficult. It's gonna be, like, a Gliok mask. Or something... Dopey. Visitor from afar, should your thirst for treasure remain unseen? Scared the mask of awakening, a strange land had hidden away. Solve my riddle to make it your own. A little bridge. Oh, there's a riddle here, too, for more treasure. A little ridge in Lufo's land. Ruined sleet beneath the towering mushroom trees. Connect to the southern columns midday. Shadow to the northern. To shadow center. The way to my treasure will open. Oh, Misko! Solve my riddle, then find my treasure. Earn my respect. Charges of Awakening. Worn by a hero. Explore a mysterious island. Visit but not leave. Items make one want to wear it, but also not. Huh. Awakening, like Link's Awakening? Is there a new Link's Awakening outfit? Cool. I already found a location of one before. Oh. I almost want to ask where, because I'm interested. Yeah, fuck it. Where, where is it? Let's do that real quick. And then I'll figure out how to... S uh, you know what, though? I, I should probably be doing the riddles, right? I mean, that's kind of the fun of it. I don't know. I'll let you decide. If you want to tell me, go for it. If not, cool. I'll figure it out eventually. Just another Link outfit, anyways. Remember where you fought the Flame Gliok? The one that wasn't on the bridge at Hylia? The location was called, but it's south of Rito Village. There's a shrine and memory there in Breath of the Wild. Yes. Okay, uh... I don't have the shrine, but I do know what you mean. Yeah, somewhere around here. I think I actually... Yeah, I can just drop down from it from here. That's how I actually found the Gliok before with Sky Island Adventures. Oh yeah, that's where that riddle was just leading me to, right? Pledge of Tabantha, I think was something was mentioned in the, or something like that. It was the Pledge of something. Does it appear in my Hyrule Ridge? Okay, it's Hyrule Ridge. That's probably the last piece. I'll I'll solve the riddle for that one. Okay, so I believe it's the north end that I want to head for. Hello down there. Down there, right? Something like that. I'll see it while I'm dropping. Eventually. It was like a big grassy plain. Probably directly above it. The ancient columns where you're going. Ancient columns, ancient columns. Those right... No, that's not the ancient columns. Just casually taking cold damage because I'm too lazy to put something on. Hang on, I, I should conserve my special health. Do I have it on my map? Here we go. Oh, down here. Okay. Mm. Mm. 
course it's going down the cavern. I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. This thing seemed to be a lot more common in this one. I'm gonna stamina up here real quick. Surprise, motherfucker. Here I am, not wearing my good armor. What's going on with this fireballs? There we go. Catch them in midair while they're falling, that's good to know. I figured that they had to like land and become the item as you approach them. This has been another episode of I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I bet you could skip phase two if you kill this guy fast enough. You can do it with dragon scales. Cool. <laughs> Looks like you won't be getting phase two. No, 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 not happening. You're not getting your phase. You bitch. You fucker. This is why Keith didn't invite you to the birthday party. Paraglide link. You fucking. Cool. Wow. Isn't that just cool? Can you believe it? <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> Hello. Oh, chill the fuck out. This time I'm gonna remember I have my good armor on for the whole thing. Cut that out. That's not the two-handed.
Where's that good two-handed I was using? I thought I had a good two-handed weapon. So here we go, good spear. Best DPS. Gibdo, oh, that's right. I have Gibdo bones. I can use those. I don't really need it to damage the heads, but it would do extra damage to them overall, so maybe I should do that. Hello there. I don't have very many, though. Good shot, good shot. This is probably my best weapon right now. At least I can survive hits from him now. I've grown. This was a lot easier when I fought him the first time off stream. Like, first try, it was a joke. Get up, Link. Get up, get up. Got him. Bitch. Payback. Yeah, Bird Boy got him. I saw that. Talon is a great, like, fighter. That, that bow is very handy. <clears throat> so somewhere around here is a thing. Yep. Secret doors at the top of the hill. Okay. If I had to guess, I'm going to assume that the ice gliok in the north is probably where the last one is. It seems like they're all guarded by Gliok. Yeah, this used to be a place where I would farm Lynels. Last one has no Gliok. Doesn't even have a Guardian. Huh. Maybe this way. This actually looks more right. I was up the wrong hill. Here we go. One 
of those things. I think I saw something about pillars in this one, so maybe this isn't that one that I got the hint for. Uh... Oh, yeah. Mesos treasure, here we go. This isn't the one? Hydro Ridge. Yeah. Yeah, I saw something about Southern... That's right, Southern Call is midday, but that it's not this one. Okay. I'm probably going to feel dumb when I figure this out. It's going to be, like, blatantly obvious what I'm supposed to do here. I don't see anything I can lift of note other than these, which just fall randomly from the sky. Trust me, I will. <laughs> Goody. Oh. Pfft. Okay, so I had the right idea just climbing towers. Noise. That was weird. It might have been like a lizard or something. I don't know. Cool. I do like the uh, classic link color scheme. That's what I like about the tunic of the wild is the brown and green. Oh, it's very toony. Oh, that's cool. That's like extra cartoony, like even more than the Wind Waker one. Is there from afar? Should your thirst for treasure remain unslaked? Read on. I discovered the trousers of awakening in a strange land and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle and claim them. Uh, wait, this is for the trousers. Oh, right, I already have the last hint. I already got one. Okay, so Hyrule's Ridge. Actually has it marked on my map too. That's handy. Wait, what? Oh, that's where I got the hint. Hyrule's Ridge. Where's Hyrule's Ridge? This is too big of a map for looking for little places like that. I know it's in a place, an actual... This was where a certain armor piece was found in Breath of the Wild. Okay, that would be... I think I know what you're talking. It's going to be like in Central Hyrule Plains, right? Where you drop off from the... So it's going to be around the pla uh, the uh, plateau area, like that general area. Uh, where is the plateau? Man, my Breath of the Wild memory's gone. Here we go. Breath of the Wild. And I think it was like somewhere in this general area. Well, there's the Colosseum. I might be wrong. I'm, I'm remembering things wrong. It's in the central high road area. It is actually called Hyrule Ridge, correct? I wonder if it's not going to appear on my map because I haven't been to it yet. It's west of the castle. Right, right, right. Wasn't there like a piece of armor here? Prison. Alright, 
I'm gonna port here. It is in the bog. Yeah, that's where you get a... I think it's a piece of the phantom armor. In Breath of the Wild, I think. In one of the DLCs. Or it was where you got Majora's Mask, I can't remember. It was where you got one of those DLC pieces. I do know what you're talking about. The rubber armor. Oh, it's just that the area that was like always stormy. I wonder what that's like now. Okay, so the bog. Yeah, I might actually. Yes, I do. I can just drop right down to it, actually. Ganon armor. I know that Phantom Ganon uh, was an outfit you could get in Breath of the Wild with the DLC. It was like Ocarina of Time Phantom Ganon. I don't know if it's in here though, because I f now I feel like it kind of conflicts with uh, the Phantom Ganon that's in this. But then again, we've also got like several different versions of Link's tunic. It's not stormy anymore. There's the door. Oh, it's like a little chub on top. Okay, we're in the right place. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's get a good read in on this. On uh, Hyrule Ridge in Ludo's land. Oh, Ludo, right, Ludo's bog. Moons deep beneath the towering mushroom trees. Connect the southern columns. Midday shadow. To the northern. The shadow center. The way to the treasure will open. Okay, so at midday. I need to make the southern and northern column shadows meet. I'm going to go ahead and whip out some firewood. So midday would be noon. What I'm trying to figure out is how I'm going to make the other column shadow. Maybe. Oh, there's something over here. Maybe it's something to do with this. Puzzle taught you something you had absolutely no idea about. Oh boy, new mechanics. Okay, okay, it doesn't have anything to do with I didn't know if I had to like somehow like create a light behind it or something. I knew it was gonna have like something to do with that. But by the way you said a second ago though, it looks like there's gonna be some new mechanic for me to learn here. I don't know if like something like that was gonna cast the shadow on this column. What if... Will this work? Nah, I didn't know if that was gonna like for a moment create the shadow I needed. Do something with the environment. Oh boy, something tells me this is gonna be a tricky one. Like you it'll work for this final piece. Oh, wait a minute, I have to like Hold on, hold on. I think I have an idea what I'm supposed to do here. I need to build something to, like, overlap. Oh, wait. No, wait, you're saying... Okay. Oh. That makes more sense. I thought... 
that what it was saying was like, I have to cast a shadow from this pillar so that both pillars are casting a shadow on it. I, I see, I see. Okay, so this one's shadow has to reach that one. That's all it is. I'm going to go back to midday because it looks like I'm starting to miss the window. Okay, I was misunderstanding it a bit. I gotcha. Even then, though, ugh, what am I going to get this to cast more? This really is going to be a big brain moment. I guess I just have to build something on it. Anything nearby to build with? There's no trees in the area. Cast a shadow. I'm trying to think here. This is like one of those moments where it's like, it's going to be blatantly obvious, but there's so many, like, things. I guess I could just do something with these, I guess. Wait, really? Oh! That does make this a lot easier. I, okay. I wonder if they were in Breath of the Wild, too. Now I'm wondering. Yeah, thank you for telling me, because that would have taken a while before I, like, figured that out. I would have figured it out on my own eventually, I think, but that is not an obvious one. I might have to pass time again. I might need more shadows to work with, too. Like, I might need more time, I mean. I wonder if this will stay in place. If I forward time. It should, right? I'm starting to get too late now. Somehow that just stands right up. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I'm going to have to pass time real quick because right now it's too angled. But yeah, I'm just going to hold it up over it diagonally. That should do it. What I have built now should be enough. Good, it stayed. That did it. Oh, I didn't even have to flip it. Cool. This, what you just witnessed here is an allegory for something. Well, we got the treasure. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you shitting me? <laughs> what the God. Oh, this is made even better by the fact that I actually streamed the Link's Awakening remake. And it was like my first time actually playing Link's Awakening. This is so fucking amazing. Holy shit. This is the mouth animate. 
Okay, it would be amazing if it did animate, but this is fine. <laughs> this is so dopey. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, I should check the stone tablet. To the one who found my treasure, you've done well to solve my riddle and make it to this place. Your cleverness and cunning have earned you both the treasure and my respect. The great bandit Misko. Good shit. Ah, oh, you got spoiled on it. That sucks. This is amazing. <laughs> There's a set bonus? No, there isn't. Just a decent set. It doesn't really have that much armor to it, too. There's a frog in here. Oh. Aha. One of those, you just never think to look up. No, it's just one of those things you never do. Oh. Those things are impossible. Just never lines up. They don't even drop anything. I had a feeling. There was some times where I swore I was hitting them, but it just seemed like it was going through them. Alright, I won't waste my time with those anymore then. Uh... Man, there's so many things to do left. Okay, I'm gonna go for the, um... This has been a fun stream. I'm liking this one. Let's go for that travel medallion. I haven't been there at all. Wow, I have nothing to lead me there. All right. Just a little adventure. I guess, uh, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get that travel medallion, and maybe I might as well, uh, Melania, who's over there? Melania, that does sound like a familiar name. I'm looking so stoic right now. Master Sword's almost busted. Oh, there's Terrytown, too. Ah, oh, there's so many things I want to do tonight, but it's getting late. That's right. That's right, the Horse God. I actually, I had that uh, marked. I talked to a guy, and you can actually... I actually saw it in the distance while I was flying around at one point. Um, I think... I'm going to do this. Check out Terrytown. Remember when I said I was going to do Terrytown right after the Coliseum? That was Those were fun times. I'm pretty sure I have this. Yeah. Uh, I keep getting sidetracked mid-sentence. Hey, a shrine. Let's do a shrine. More distractions. After two drinks. Yeah, pretty much. It's impossible to focus in this game. I was going to go to Terrytown and... Anyways. Maybe after I get the travel medallion, I'll check out Terrytown. And then maybe I'll finish off the stream by taking off the ice gliok. So that I have all the gliok's under my belt. 
be able to say that I've slewed them all. Combat training, sneak strike. This is gonna be a simple one. Might as well do it real quick. I say it's simple, but this guy's gonna be a dink. Just you watch. I could, you know what? This is an easy one to cheese. I still need the king. That is true, uh, hamster. Uh, that'll be a future stream. I don't think that's happening tonight. I need to unlock the great fairies so I can upgrade my armor and be ready. Yep, I know how to crouch. Okay, ready for this shit. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cheese the hell out of this. Oh, bollocks. Did I just say bollocks? I'm British now. I know, you don't have to keep telling me. I know. I just failed. Are you kidding me? Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it legit. I can't skip this. Hey guys, it'll be quick. It'll be real quick. Hmm. You know what the problem is? It's not my fault. Link's fucking head is massive. You can't sneak for shit like this. That time it worked. I was able to over overcome the challenges brought on by Link's giant head. I love how much more cartoony this outfit looks too. <laughs> like it's got like a different shading on it. Fantastic. Just a pity it doesn't have a good set bonus on it. Or, like, good armor value. Probably won't be seeing me wearing it too much outside of just casual adventures. It definitely put a good smile on my face, though. The only new retro armor. I guess there wasn't much more they could add anyway. Yeah. I guess they could do, like, the Hyrule Warriors outfit. That'd be cool. With the scarf. You know, it'd be really cool. A DS outfit that makes Link all like low poly and like pixelated looking. <laughs> Now's the time to eat intro. <laughs> you eat some like electric resistance or something. Horses are gonna see me. I'm not gonna be able to sneak on them. 
All I can do is charge. Got it! Eat 200 cheese wheels. Alright, let's go. Don't worry. This is only temporary, buddy. As soon as I get where I need to go, I'll drop you off a cliff and it'll all be fine. I think it just fucking destroyed a bird. <laughs> No, this looks like Jaeger Clan shenanigans. Good evening, Heart. You out on an adventure too? I'm not just on a journey across the land, but my journey through time. I'm going to get my eyes on all the stuff I can. I wanted to see if they had anything like that at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Uh. Seems like some weirdos took the place over, so I'm pretty much at a standstill here. Huh? ancient things oh they're the unlike they're the, the bad group that took over here ancient things, things are ancient one of them and it's like i've been transported through time that's the thrill i'm looking for but what should i go to see next yes they found fossils of giant leviathans that once in this land it's true not one not two but three giant fossils just waiting for me to say hello which to meet first maybe i'll go introduce myself to the itty bitty leviathan and elden to start Well, now you know. Cool. New quest, then. Wow. Oh, so this is a quest you've been looking for? Yeah, how beautiful it must be. I haven't talked to this person. She actually found one of those fossils, but didn't do anything with it. Actually, it looks like how beautiful it must be. You just pay him a visit as well. I'm sure it'll set your hell or fuller to keep up to stand around here. Time to go make my dreams a reality. Man, this game, this stream's going to go on a hundred parts. I'm never going to finish Persona. Uh, I went right by Terrytown. I'm getting the uh, travel medallion. And then I'm going to go to Terrytown. This game has so many meaningful side quests. This really is the Majora's Mask of Breath of the Wild. Build off the same game and just emphasize side quests hardcore and just improve everything. <laughs> I just don't bother with that asshole anymore. Sign cut. Speaking of cucks, I hope this horse knows how to swim. <laughs> Retard. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> oh no, it's ragdoll. It's fluffing all of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a good ragdoll. <laughs> Yeah, I know where I'm going. I just need to, I need to take care of some business. I need to I need to get rid of some loose ends. <laughs> yeah, there's a bokoblin camp down there. One of the bokoblins just gets absolutely destroyed, and all the other bokoblins are just like, "Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys." <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> so stupid. I can't believe they let you kill horses. <laughs> they don't even let you sleep. You get like you get any meat. What is it? What you? It's Link. Get ready for battle. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> First, you get your blade master. So I don't think I've actually gotten a regular clan member. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a perfect shot. How'd you know it was me? I'm wearing a mask. You could pick up their corpses with the hand. It'd be more people hilarious to rocket them. Oh my god, the things you could do to horses if you were using at least ultra hand on them. <laughs> just die a bunch of rockets to its body and just watch it spazzed out. <laughs> oh, it's one of these wind shear swords. Oh no, that's the eightfold blade. I'm thinking of something else. It cleaves the wind. Oh, it's basically the same thing. I'm remembering the name wrong. I guess. Yega armor? Yo! Mm -hmm. I recognize that beard. Guys, this is the cross-dresser from Breath of the Wild. You can recognize the beard. That's absolutely him. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll make your little uniforms without any more complaints, I swear. Kondo, that was his name, wasn't it? Yeah, because people had to take it out of proportion. Like, you, you can't just have a funny moment in the game without it being... Link is a trance icon. It, it just gets so overbearing when people do that shit. Like, people would be a lot more accepting of that stuff if people didn't have to force it on everything. Anyways, hey, hey, Superstar, you're not with the Giga Clan, are you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. That, that's fantastic. I've been cooped up in here forever. The name's Kanba. I've got a knack for style. And the nimble digits. I need to spin my ideas into reality. Last, that pure talent is why the Giga Clan kidnap me and force me to make their outfits for them. Mm. If I ever sew one of those tacky rags again, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Yiga armor I just finished. Burn it, toss it, do what you want. Just get it away from me. Huh. Ah. Free Yiga armor. Take a look at the map before I leave. I gotta hurry out of here before I go. Don't worry, I'm more athletic than I look. You only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. See you around. Thanks for the save. Oh, yeah. I guess this is where I get the rest of a Yiga outfit. That's cool. Is that the Coliseum? No, no, it's not. That's the castle, so... Is that the Great Plateau, then? Okay, so somewhere on the Great Plateau, and somewhere around the desert, you know what? I bet that's the Giga Clan hideout. That makes sense, because there's the desert. You know what? I don't really need a picture, but I'll humor you guys and get it. I think I know exactly where these places are. Wait a minute, though. There's a couple others, too. Okay, there's more going on here. It's not just you get outfit pieces, it looks like. Okay, I didn't see... Oh, this is a fucking adventure. Guys, this is... I think this is going to be a late stream. <laughs> we've, only, we've now taken over the Sheikah lab and filled the map with locations of our hideout and branches. The lab is located near a local stable. 
It's also not far from Terrytown, which is impacted by falling Zonai ruins in parts. Suffice to say, I think both these locations would be useful for getting supplies and intel that we haven't yet received. There's so much fucking content. And people are calling this $70 DLC. Fuck those people. They haven't yet received any word of Zelda. There have been many reported sightings of their swordsman Link. His days are outnumbered, though, as the surface division is setting up as a network of their terrifying banana trap <laughs> banana traps. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say I've fallen for one myself, tempting though it may be to try not to pick up any of the bananas on the road. <laughs> of course they fall for their own traps. There's the travel medallion. I, I, yeah, I, I wish... I'm not going to lie, I was slightly disappointed with Breath of the Wild's DLC. It was good, I liked it, and it was worth the money. But I was really hoping for, like, Bethesda-level DLC, where you get, like, a whole new area to go to. Like, think of this. Imagine a DLC that added islands. Like, more islands. And you just go on a Wind Waker adventure. And maybe, like, fight, like... Maybe there could be, like, another, like, little mini-story where you, like, fight... Um... I can't think of his name right now. The Minish Dick. How am I forgetting his name? He's one of my favorite Zelda villains. Purple guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Somehow I can't remember his name all of a sudden. I'm drawing a blank. What is, I think I'm having a stroke, guys. Vaddy. Thank you. a cool thing to do too. They almost added the Minish in Breath of the Wild. Like they were almost like going to be a new race. Like another race just thrown in like with the Gorons and Zoras and all them. That would have been kind of cool. I love what they're doing with all the different races and how they all have like different cultures and shit. Like different ways that they make things. Like you see a Goron weapon and you know that it's a Goron weapon. You see a Lazalfos weapon and you know it's a Lazalfos weapon. I love that world building. They have a little hideout up here. I saw the mushroom people leave behind the rupees in the grass. Well, I'm listening to this. People leave behind the rupees in the grass. I'm trying to think. I don't remember that intro. That would that sounds like it would be a good way to make money though. There's a lot of Zelda games where I've only played once, like a long time ago. Oh, there's a maze right here. It's there no like shrine nearby so I can come back here soon in the future. Hang on. Sure, surely there's a shrine. That was the Minish. I don't remember the Minish leaving rupees around. Huh. Okay, there is a shrine around somewhere. Do I have silent shrooms yet? I don't. They're the ones that hide items around the world. That's right. Maybe I should stream Minish Cap at some point. I, I kind of feel like it's necessary, right? Like, I, I need to do, like, every Zelda game at least once. I can't call myself a Zelda fan and, like, a fucking super fan. I'm obsessed with this series. I, I can't call myself a super fan, though, and then not stream all of them. More distractions. <laughs> Hopefully there's a quick shrine. There's some good games. I definitely prefer the 3D ones over the 2D. But the 2D ones have their qualities. The thing is with the 2D ones, they're more combat oriented. And a lot less puzzle. I feel. So apparently these specially colored things you can get in shrines, uh, you can actually fuse to weapons and smuggle them out of shrines. Funny thing that I've seen people doing. They make like blueprints using stuff from inside shrines. Some 
some dopey stuff going on here. I feel like you just did this shrine. <laughs> Probably should have done that. <laughs> no wrong answer, though. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe that was a thing I should do. Thing is, I can also just do this. I see what's going on here. I, I see. This is gonna be like a diving board. <laughs> Such a cool game. like the most insane wily coyote type garbage here to make this work I'm gonna show you guys how to do a puzzle I was hoping that the wind would push that further <laughs> Like, oh, wait a minute. I see what's going on here. This is actually kind of an obvious solution. Probably should have straightened that out more. Good job, you fucking idiot. Back up. Okay. The old foot the list. Yeah, but I can also just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that. I just wanted to break it. It was an obvious solution. <laughs> Instead, I had, to, I had to just do a Fortnite dance on it. 
<laughs> stupid rune. It's so stupid. Nintendo, patch it out. <laughs> we don't need it. It's like that image I shared the other day where he's like talking to the statues and they're just like, it's not quite the solution we had in mind, but yours was way funnier, TBH. <laughs> the recall is definitely the best. Oh, I don't know. That's that's a stretch. I was going to say it's the best rune, but you can like build shit. So that's that's false. It's it's definitely up there though with the build. What the hell's going on over here? Yo, we got like fucking pirate ships. Oh man. Oh. I need to come back to that at some point. Maybe when I do this. For now though. I made a promise to myself. And I'm going to keep it. We're going to Terrytown. This stream is going to be a hundred parts. The next 50 streams are going to be just like doing side quests. <clears throat> I'm probably going to start doing some side quests off stream. I just, I hate to do something that ends up being, like, really, really good and getting something amazing. Like, if I did the side quest for this armor off stream, I would have been so disappointed in myself. Hudson Construction Site. So Hudson's doing stuff down here. We got a big dollar. Where is that dickhead, anyways? Let's catch up with that lad. Is that his wife? Oh, no, it looks like it's just different. This guy's looking like something out of a 70s movie. I think I remember these two. There was like a side quest with them in Breath of the Wild. Finna seem this ain't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen, you jive-ass turkey. And now we're here. The only vehicle you got is some piece of junk no one can control. What kind of fools you think you take us? What do you take us for? Uh. Got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the sonar devices and other debris that fell from the sky. Yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we ask you here. Uh, we're hoping for professional racers like the two of you. And offer oh, that's right. That's right. There was like a like a sand seal race you could do with these two. That was fun. So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're races, not scholars, okay? You don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. You found nothing among these zone uh, devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here on Terrytown work. Ferris, ah. you're breaking company policy by working with people who don't have son at the end of their name. Hey, just stand right here. Don't cut me out. This little quick chick chat says, So, thingamabobs are from an age of legends. Trying to tell me that something old can run down and is still useful? Please. Oh. Come all the way here. It didn't hurt to put our heads together. It's important to race her or ride as well as she knows her hands. You taught me that, Shabon. Oh. Is this going to be like Mario Kart and Zelda? Where I'm going to be like racing? Like, is this going to be like a racetrack or something? That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> racing like Gerudo and like Rito and shit. And we're like throwing Bokoblin horns at each other. Tally wants help, then help us. What we'll do. Master of the vehicle prototype. 
More side quests. This isn't even like the main thing I was after. I'm gonna keep going for now. Let's let's check out Terrytown. What is going on here? Yo! Hey, it's one of the guys I had hired. Grayson. It's all done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Are you looking for an entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right in front of you should come in handy. Interesting build. Very interesting. It's given me some ideas. It's a little on the slow side. It works, though. I didn't even see that. Hang on. This, this is too important. We got a new gotcha machine. I'll just, uh, I'll just go up there the old-fashioned way after I do this. Sort by type. Let's throw in one of these and four of these. And what do we get? I think at this point I've pretty much unlocked everything. So that's what those things are for. So my device is inside this thing? Yeah, there is. Can I get them now? Ah. Oh, it's rankling to see what that thing uh, see that thing and not be able to get the stuff inside. Thanks for figuring it out. Even so, I think, yes, I think this might actually possibly be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. The contraptions like this one, shown in the places other than just Terrytown. Kekriko Village in Nakluda, south of here, has one. So one in the southeast west too, at Dig Dog Dig Dog Bridge. Dick Dogger. The entrance to Gerudo region. Uh, It'd be cool to see more Zelda 1 bosses. Get like a... Uh, I said before, I would shit myself if I saw an Aquamantis. It'd be that types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption or uh, different? Uh, questions require answers. Oh, thank you. Uh, Such a gracious uh, gift. A kingly gift. Well, I finally have uh, stable access to steering wheels. That's been a long time coming. Oh, I guess I didn't have everything unlocked yet. It just created a new row. I had all this filled out, and there was like no more rows, so I just thought, okay, I guess I discovered everything. But I didn't even think of that. I didn't have steering wheels yet. Nice. No, that's a good thing to have. <clears throat> Are those? Hang on. Ah, oh, it's just Hyro Bass. I was hopeful that there were the stamina ones. I mean, no, not stem out of the, uh, hardy. Shit, second too late. This music. Oh, nice new remix of Terrytown. This was such a nice, pleasant place in Breath of the Wild, with a nice little pleasant quest to get it. Link just helping build a town. Kind of feel like this is just where like Link's house should have been. Terrytown Tunnel. A 
Hello there. Just a room full of... <laughs> okay. Hey, there he is. Oh, thank you. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So, a cutout was blocking the door? Well, I appreciate your help, however you are. Oh my god, I could build things with these cutouts. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm really too busy right now to reward you, though. <laughs> Where's their Korok? He's out of the so they don't get blocked the door again. Characters will react to it. That's amazing. <laughs> Whew, that should do it. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them, too. Yes, I can freely play with them. Oh, Nintendo knew it exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. Like, this is just something to play with. <laughs> oh, they, they know what the fans want. What the fuck is this Gerudo's hair? Why are there so many penis heads? Savak, Mister, are you a friend of Papa? No way. Ah. Well, that's nice. He's gone for a long time, but now he's back home. You get just confirmed it. I'm gonna be moving in, uh, moving soon, so I gotta make sure I put a pop on every son Elsa a whole bunch uh, while I can. Hamster. No. No. Sit in the corner. The hair? I don't see why that would be a problem. Just stick the whole thing on up there, in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I sure hope it stops raining soon. I was playing this fun training game with Madison. Can't practice outsmarting Vo when it's like this. few quests you can do here. Kilton is also... Kilton, hey! Steady place to buy f bombs. There's a fruit. Monster extract. Searching for monsters. Suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Hmm. Let's get a couple bottles. I have enough money. Only mar merchant that sells it. Uh, oh. I can make some fun dishes some point. Maybe I'll look up some recipes. Monster extract is one of the things you love here of the two. Best source of it so far. Yeah, I think you can also get it from the Ever Means, but um, I guess it's rare, and there's a chance that the log that drops will crush it. So that kind of sucks. This little guy. I remember him. It's just such a nice town. I got a big dumb smile on my face right now. There he is. <laughs> Why, hello there, you. To cross your path again? An honor. A pleasure. And I see you're moisturizing your face, skin. Hydration is so important. Hmm. Yet again, without my with my younger brother Colton, did you? I can smell it. He's a bit eccentric, I know, I know. But I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. <laughs> ah, but where are my manners? I've yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and I traveled all about selling them from my shop. 
But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelet, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at least make a real dream. A dream since I was a wee kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy and can't take my step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm a quiver with excitement, though, at the thought of it. Uh -huh. Truth is, this is just between you and me. I've adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is actually the part where you say, <laughs> What? Monsters? Disgusting! But there you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. Uh, that I can't deny. And that they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so, I'll educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they'll love monsters. That's my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land, Hudson. <laughs> Hey, oh, as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle in the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Look at this smug bastard. Mm. I, that's a face that says, I have touched all the children in this town, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> what he does is amazing. I'll definitely have to do that side quest. It's an interesting little structure. I thought I might be it might be valuable when I picked it up. This weird rock is giving me the creeps. To hurry, find ourselves harder to. Huh? Any construction site, eh? It's a small fee to use the uh, rail car, though. I'll, coll I'll collect that for you. It's 20 rupees, no exceptions. But you only need to pay it once. Limited rides, that's a bargain. How about it? Hey, stop that. This rock belongs to me. I'm not going to give it away for free. You know, I consider selling it to you. in the construction site. It's a rock I, so I stole. I mean, took it as a memento. For entry, this guy needs to be removed from the town immediately. The thief. Hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I call 60. No, 50 rupees a much more fair price. It's already sitting under that. I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Oh, no need for the stern wife folk. Yeah, this guy's gonna get, like, ball tumors. So, it's all good. All fair. Oh, what do you say? It's a real deal. Just 50. It's actually gonna buy this weird rock I found. It's my lucky day. Aye, right, sir. This is definitely a valuable rock, so you made a wise purchase. Now the block rock belongs to you. No refunds. Oh. Place it in the back for wherever you're ready to take it. It's its new home. Thing is, where does it go? I imagine somewhere down there. I know where these things usually go. I just don't see the thing for it. Did pick it up first? Okay. Oh, that's right. These things usually give a trail. Nope. All the way over there, huh? But it's on the other side of that rock, like somewhere behind the waterfall. 
All right. Here's the plan. We're going on a fucking high-flying adventure with this thing. Whoops. Hopefully I can get some lift off like this. Free battery, I'll take that. Oh, I need to get one of the junk ones, right? This is going to be a thumbnail. <laughs> Make Hudson watch. <laughs> oh wait, Make Hudson, me oh my god. Metal Gear Hudson. We made it, buddy. <laughs> we did it. No, 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 no. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Hi, Fab. <laughs> That's gonna be what defeats Ganon. I'm gonna have like 30 spinning Hudson cutouts. <laughs> Penises <laughs> with poses attached to them so that there's brand water over there. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> the fuck is Hudson? Massive explosion. He just busts into the final boss arena like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> Holy shit, this game's amazing. If this game doesn't win game of the year, riot. It's a riot. James O'Keefe is going to be dressed up like a, in a big Korok suit and is going to get crucified and burned. Oh, diamond. Nice. I'm probably just gonna sell it. <laughs> Next stream, I think, is gonna be the Great Fairy Quest. I don't think it's gonna happen tonight. Oh, it's it's 12.25, guys. <laughs> I'll give this another half hour. I'm having too much fun to put it down. Fast travel there. Some 
unfortunately, I think my plane is gone. Stuff you spawn just disappears too easily. Yeah, I was thinking that. I think that's where I'm going to put it, to be honest. It, it, there's a place where I can get steering wheels, which is like one of my most wanted items. Because I, I always like building crafts so I can steer around. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spending some time here. I think it's a good place for it myself. I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do just that. You get three of them. That's fucking awesome. Oh, that's way better than Breath of the Wild. Wait, really? Oh, I have to upgrade it, looks like. Unusable. Oh, I have to bring it to Robbie. Shit. Okay. That'll be a thing that I do. By next my next stream I'll have an uh, I'll have a travel medallion ready to go. King Gliok, if you're, like, good at killing... Have you actually managed to kill it yet? You get the King Gliok? Cool if you did. That se that sounds like something to be good for farming, too, because, um... Getting each horn type. And I imagine there's probably, like, other parts you get from it, too. You just needed a photo. Ah. Uh. Giants are always good. <clears throat> Look at that beautiful son of a bitch. today. She was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it? Though I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Mm. Minari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you keep acting like this, it'll only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. It's a once-in-a-lifetime journey for Gerudo. We should support her. Give her a grand send-off. Mm. Right, of course. It's a special journey. We should do something f big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess. You're in the market for a dream home? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god, they fixed the biggest problem in Breath of the Wild's housing. I can actually have it in the right place. And, yeah, I, I, which one are you saying would to, hamster? Because, yes. No! <laughs> it's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put <laughs> rooms together <laughs> to create the perfect home. <laughs> I think system this game's been massively improved and you'll be happy with it. Awesome. Sorry. I mean, in a game where you can build, I want to see that implemented in the housing. We're not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Oh, oh cool it is. Oh, it's been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's kind of a village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, when you have a daughter... Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Mm. My little Madison. Mm. Hudson, you gotta get it together. Oh. Sorry, I gotta go. We're kind of busy right now. Ah, oh. uh, I kind of wish I wasn't told that, though, to be honest. That's exciting, though. I'm really glad. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh my god, it's gonna be like four all over again. I'm going to spend more time building than I am actually playing the game. Guys, this is going to be like the entirety of my off-stream time. I'm going to be here building my fucking stupid house. <laughs> Listen, but don't worry. I got something nice to do for Madison. This is just such a nice, pleasant town. 
conversation. I hardly made it time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at some construction, we'd like to say, it's son and done. So here I am, president of a company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. I mentioned her earlier, I have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Rotson. But Madison as well. Well, she's going to be leave. She's going to leave to move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. It's fine while they're very young, but they start to become more aware of the world around them. Someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. Mm. Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Sorry, you have to listen to me go on and on like that. She should get back to the job site soon. Mm. That's bullshit. She has to, like, follow their laws even though she doesn't live there. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. Wife has her hands full, too. I was preferring Madison with, with the move. She's so busy, she can't even make, take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone would spend time in Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Okay, you know what? This is a meaningful quest. Let's not wear the dopey armor for this. As much as I like this. This is a job for a legendary hero. Yeah. Imagine if there was Kelton armor, that would be amazing. <laughs> Just a fucking Kelton head. Meaningful quest, I say. She's probably inside because it's late. You know what? It's probably a good thing. Where does she sleep? Oh no, I'm getting uncomfortable, guys. It's just this tiny house with. Oh no. Oh no. All three of them in there? No. No. Oh, wait, this is upstairs. Well, that guy's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> hey there, how you doing? I'm gonna read your diary right in front of you. Fight me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. Doing this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I made my miss son to memorize as many words as I can. I'm getting tired, so I have to say goodnight now. But I wake up, I'm going to give a lesson to Granny Minori. You should come with me if you're interested. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking in Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving the Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Well, see you later. Alright, that didn't work out planned. She gets scared and like falls over backwards out the window and fucking dies. She sleeps in Kilton's house perfectly safe.
guys. There's some opportunities here we're not thinking about. Whoa! Can I, like, merge inside the human? <laughs> Just a little more to the left. do this. You've seen this scene in Aliens? <laughs> oh, it restricts it. They knew. I could still do this, though. Bring me ketamine, child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're just digging around at this point. I was really hoping that it would be like a Korok where I just phase right through. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm doing this. Uh, wrong one. Granny Monroni. Monari. Oh. Oh. Ah. Let me keep door on have some services one in Breath of the Wild. I should talk to him. done. Have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon? Oh, I think I heard about this. I think Huguette was telling me about this. Yeah, you can, like, separate things without breaking them. I don't really have anything I want to separate, so... I get enough trees to do something. <laughs> Dog's chasing his tail. I could be doing the side quest, but I have other things I could be doing here. Hang on. This game's stupid. Cut off, cut down all these nice trees that they had. Spoil their lovely little town. Now we're gonna make some improvements here. It's time for you all to learn about Jesus. Jesus. need <laughs> He 
It is time for you all to learn the word of Jesus. Perfect. <laughs> Construction was a mistake. Oh my god, you can attach it to the bell to hold it up. It's perfect. Mighty construct. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's a fountain. <laughs> I'd say this town is a better place. <laughs> Savada. <clears throat> the best part is imagining someone cycling through links, images, and seeing stuff like that. <laughs> no kidding. Oh my, you're in such a good mood today, Must Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Uh -huh. Of course. It's a special occasion, too, because a new student is joining the class. Uh -huh. Oh, now pay attention. Oh, wait. What's up, the old lady? Granny Marini, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Mm. Granny and Gerudo is, uh... Oh. Okay, we're learning new Gerudo words. Granny. So, I, I assume it's like an iteration of Vi. Vava, maybe? <laughs> nope. Like just loudly as fuck. <laughs> Vada. Uh, this is gonna be a game of just guess it until you get it, <laughs> and remember the selections. Okay, so three. Yeah, you should take tip of my tongue. <clears throat> I could probably learn it from her journal. There's some content there. Mama won't worry, it'll be so lonesome, right? I better know. They're all in a notebook in her room, but yeah. Better knowing that Mama will be okay. Now I need to think about a way to. Because he's so busy, I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna ride the real car to the job site where he does all his work. New ba is used to describe something old in Japanese. Oh, it's based on. Okay, there's a bit of Japanese mixed in. She had to grow up so quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not worrying, working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. And again, maybe she won't have to. For since Hagi was put in charge of the real car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. <clears throat> Okay, good. I don't have to, like, learn the whole thing. But, I mean, I have to do, like, a big quiz, I mean. I the rail car so I can get into Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. That or will be a quizzes in different spots. I won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. 
Never had to pay until he took over. Again, this guy should be kicked out of town. Hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. How am I going to do that all by myself? I need this for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I wonder if I could steal the rail cart the same way. Music like this is always just automatically better when a fucking tuba's in it. You know, some guy, some, so far this, this, our old friend here has just been nothing but helpful to us in every which way. I bet I could probably steal the gem from him. He's terrified. <laughs> What's wrong, bitch? What's wrong? Motherfucker. about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. <laughs> Hudson saved the day. She's making too much noise. I did it. My mission was a success. He never let us down. <laughs> gonna be so happy when they see me. It's probably what they intended, to be honest. Thanks for helping me with my mission. Just box them in with cutouts. You just chucked a puffshroom at him. <laughs> now, if only you could scoop him up and just toss him in the fucking ocean. Oh, wrong. Yeah, you can't scoop them. That's a pity. Combining objects under his feet. That's actually not a bad idea. Like, what if I put... something here? He actually lifts his feet. You see that? <laughs> yeah, I can see you, right? Oh, fuck off. I'm not trying to use the thing. Quit being a dick. I hope it didn't move the things. Shit. Alright, retry. This guy needs to pay. He just destroyed our ultimate creation. He dismantled the word of Hudson. <laughs> I have to not get too close to the thing. Lifted him. Okay. Now. You just need to box his dick in.
I can't lift it. How disappoint. I can't lift it. Like, when I scoop it under, I'm like this. And I hold up, it doesn't do anything. It just doesn't budge. Maybe... Maybe... This is going to be a huge waste, but I'm doing it. Damn it, it just yanked through him. I know you can apparently fuck with Pura, which is hilarious, but I hope they didn't patch it. Yeah, it's like it tried to yank him, but then he like pulled through and the whole thing just blew apart. I need to tinker with that more in the future for sure. I, I definitely need to tinker with Pura because I know that works with her. you were coming here too, mister. Strange, Papa keeps mumbling himself. <laughs> oh. oh, it's you. So you've been doing a lot of thinking. Uh, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. Oh. Uh, what I came up with is this. Gruta Town is pretty far from here and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. Mm. But I want to make it really special. Something just for her. Not sure how to do that. Yeah. Especially or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It makes it looks just like the sun. The sun. <clears throat> That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I, I've seen sun lions around here. I could use them to make it die. I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something this size, I'd need ten of them. Huh? I should have plenty of them. did it. You truly collected ten of them? What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Aww. You'd love to tinker with Pura. Oh yeah. That's like the entire internet. Does that help at all? I failed my mission. That's not true, Madison. Your papa's about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you try helping me with that? Well, Papa, I'll help you make the sun. Cool. Mm -hmm. Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. <laughs> That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Oh. At last, it's done. And morning's already here. Just happy to get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Oh. Hudson. Hmm? Oh, Rodson, what's wrong? Uh, don't tell me. <sighs> yeah, her escort arrived and is awaiting the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Oh. Let's all go together. Then, in Madison's special sun balloon. Will you join us as well? Turn into a bird. <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. <laughs> the sun's waking up. Oh. It's a blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, never forget. 
we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see your mama will always be beside you. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Amazing how it holds completely still. It's a high quality hot air balloon. Link had it in him to use stasis one last time. <laughs> Papa, your present made me very happy. Mm. Madison, you know, if we get lonely, you can come back any... Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My right, little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't you worry. You can go. Go become a wonderful Vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, every son. I mean, Sarkso. I'm going to become a great Vi like mama. And I'll meet a wonderful Vo like papa. It's a fork, every son. <laughs> Watson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm? Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Of course. Um, okay, I'm ready. Uh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday lines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, it's a way of saying thank you. Please take this. Oh. And this is from me. Ooh. You've already helped me so much. If you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now I've got to get back to work. Don't, don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Alright, now, where do I go to buy some land here? Fuck yeah. Madison off on her own little adventure. It looks like I can resume working on dream homes. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or a fully furnished room. Or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to uh, care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important. And what all our customers truly uh, enjoy, which is Ma. the opportunity to assemble all those individual rooms on their own. You can pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family, family is in debt for all your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Sarsko, you know. Thank you. <laughs> if you're interested in a dream home, that's great. It's a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinarily, the land would cost you 3000 There's a special just for you. 1500 Fuck yeah, I was worried it was going to be like 5000 or 10000 or something like that. Like, in Breath of the Wild, it was like 5000 in like 30 wood or something like that, if I recall. And it took forever to get. And then you had to get like each room. Or thing added. 1,500. Yeah. Wow. I already have a prime plot. It's a bit to the southeast of here. It has an excellent view. Oh. It's a bit far away. There's a shrine over in that direction. Another member of our staff met you on the top of the hill of that shrine. 
I, I showed a picture of this the other day. Depending on the position of the sun, if the sun is like behind it and it's like blinding light, she'll actually like change the dialogue they're saying. I know the sun's a bit in the way, but there's a shrine over there. That is polished. And the member of our staff will meet you on the hill on the left of the shrine. Speak with them for more details. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed building your ideal dream home, Savork. Man, I love free building houses in these kind of games. Like, I was always a big, ever since I was a kid, like, I, I loved the construction mechanic in RuneScape and how you could just place the rooms and stuff how you wanted. It's kind of a pity the um, construction update, uh, revamp never happened. They were going to do an update that made it so that you could actually, like, move the furniture around in RuneScape and it's not just locked to the hotspot. And there was going to be, like, a little grid system where you could drag rooms around and change their, like, positions. And not have to, like, deconstruct and rebuild. But, unfortunately, it got scrapped. They got lazy. And there was too much spaghetti code, so they just gave up on it. But I, I love this kind of shit where you can just freely build. I, in Fallout 4, um, I had, like, 500 hours on my first save file. And 300 of those hours were spent building. I love this kind of shit. This is gonna eat up so much of my free time. When, like when I'm not streaming, that's all I'm gonna be doing is building. If I'm not working, like all my free hours off stream are just gonna be like building this house and making something cool. I, I don't know. That's probably a stretch. I don't know how crazy it's gonna get. Like if there's like a lot of stuff to add. If it's just a bunch of like presets. Then I probably won't spend too, too much time, but... Okay, I'm guessing this is where I can, like, build rooms. Like, get the rooms set up. I'm not gonna do the shrine just yet. Oh! I've already been here. That. I have a nice quick access to Terrytown already. Sun and done. Okay, let's take a look at this. Ah. Hey, hello, you must be Link. Uh, hiccup. I'm Granitson of Hudson Construction. Watson told me all about you. I'm here to answer all your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, can I direct your attention this way? Oh. This is the plot of land you purchased. Nice space, too. Place the rooms we sell here. Well, uh -huh. on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Uh -huh. Let's see. Looks like you, uh, your contract includes two rooms. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. Oh my god, this music. It's like a Sims'd up version of the house theme. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, this is great. These are the rooms. The one on the left is a foyer. And the one on the right is a bedroom. They're covered in nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry, we'll remove them once construction is complete. Now, all you need to do is place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms so that they fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing. You can only place rooms in the roped-up area. Please remove any other items before inspection. Mm. When you're done, so I can perform an inspection. And I'm assuming I can just freely go into build mode and, like, move things around after they're placed. I'm not to, like, demolish and replace. That, please thoroughly enjoy taking your first step toward building your dream Okay, so this would be like the entrance. Okay. Ooh. 
Not much yet, but I'm seeing the potential already. Okay, and you're limited to 15 units of, like, blocks. Okay. That makes sense. You don't want to, like, make the switch catch on fire. Ah. Working hard, I see. What can I do for you? No. We'll start the inspection right away. find any problems during the inspection you're free to go inside <laughs> you're telling me that was your first time nice work your dream home is complete at last so mm. congratulations ah. this is like the future of animal crossing too we'll be able to just place rooms around how we want just expand our house completely like however we want please wait here for just a moment it's really like only the it's like the only logical step left for the series too like after what like new horizons did oh. Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? Of course, this is the only first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> Hope you continue to explore building your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with Gunnison if you want to know more about them. This isn't much, but here's a gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Oh my god. We have the best fabric. I'm going to be going to get to the dye shop real quick. I'm going to do that. It takes to build a home of your dreams. Uh, you take a look inside the room she placed. Nice and cozy. Okay, it's a little disappointing. I can't use the, can't use this like store things. Like, just store, like, a bunch of weapons or something. I wonder, is this going to have the same benefits of the special bed? Yeah, I'm going to be doing that right after this. I just want to take a look at this. I'm wondering if this will... Oh, okay. And the glow of the blood -stained moon shines. Everything's so happy one second, and just oh, you're gonna fucking die, motherfucker. <sighs> this has been way too long of a stream, but <laughs> it's been too long since I played this. I'll play a little longer. Let's take a look at the building, and then I'll end it with uh, Ice Gliok. Like I said, I would like it an hour and a half ago. Mm. Again, congratulations. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, is this not where I... Oh, hang on. This is just back in build mode. Unless... I need more rooms. Here we go. store rooms too angled furnished angled oh you can like do blank slate rooms for placing your own shit gallery hanging a painting holy shit no fucking way <laughs> oh. cooking that's handy Blessing room. That sounds nice. Paddock for my horse. I don't really use my horse, though. I have a fucking truck. A study. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a lot of options here. <laughs> I've got a lot of rupees to, like, save up. On fucking garden. Can I actually plant my own stuff in this? 
Like, can I, like, grow mushrooms and shit? That's so fucking cool. Not here, but you can somewhere else. Okay. Okay, so that's the four. I feel like the bedroom should be upstairs. Okay, and then... may have made a small mistake. I don't have like an in-between room. There's my kitchen. Yeah, I kind of fucked that up a little bit. Can I, like, sell anything to you? Here we go. Last resort. Look at this, four diamonds. You get is just sitting there cringing right now. <laughs> just sell it all. I don't need to upgrade my armor. What are you talking about? I'm gonna be so fucking pissed at myself after I did the Great Fairy Twist. Like, god damn it, I had all these gems. But I spent it on more important things. Something that's gonna suck up all of my fucking time. So, like, this is the kind of shit I need. Oh, look at this. A weapon stand. Oh, ho, ho. A bow, shield. This is my kind of shit. I'm gonna have, like, a proper, like, little trophy room. I can always get more. I know ways to farm. Okay, these are going to be a must. A square room and a mm -hmm. furnished square room. Uh -huh. ah. It's too bad there's no, like, armor stand. But then I'd also have to, like, put away my armor, and that wouldn't be ideal. Oh, that's just a foyer. Yeah, like I said, this is, like, I love this kind of shit. I just like customizing stuff. Have my own little base.
Oh, uh, I wonder what Vinny's reaction to this is gonna be. I really look forward to the point where I'll be able to actually check out his streams of this. That's the bedroom, right? Yeah. This will leave some room for expansions later. Yup, Gliok is happening right after this. I'm just about done. Everything's placed. This guy is, like, blocking me. Nope, I'm actually finished. I'm just placing it. This is so cool. Mm. <laughs> nice little hearth for cooking. I can paint a copy for you to display. Ah, oh, it's a tough call. I could have this nice Riju picture. I think the more obvious choice, though. Dream home. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I have things to do now. I wonder If I combine a heated object to my shield, will it keep me warm while I fight the Gliot? Oh. Okay. Gonna not let the Gliok blow it up on me. It works. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. Cakewalk, really. The next time I go out of my way to fight a Gliok, it's gonna be the fucking king. This one seems to like flying. Lots of stuff to hide behind. I guess they expect this to be your first Gliok. 
This is where the first dungeon is. Yep, I know. That's why I equipped it. It's not the weather intro. It's the thing I attach to my shield. It's warming me. That's why I did that. Come on over, big guy. We got some business to take care of. Uh-oh, that's a problem. My, my bow. So, um, intro. Elemental items actually affect your temperature in general, like any elemental item. It was like that in Breath of the Wild. If you have, like, a fire sword and you equip it, it would actually keep you warm while traveling through an icy area. And ice weapons would actually keep you cool in heated areas. You didn't know that? Yeah, that was in Breath of the Wild. With the elemental items. making snowballs. Shit. Ah, uh, that gust sucks. This is actually a small Gliot. Oh, he seemed small a second ago, but maybe not. for a second. You fucker. His heads are gonna get back up if I don't quit. There we go. Maybe I should use Riju more. Yeah, I guess it just works differently in this one intro. It seems to be the same idea. It's even keeping me warm in this fight. Nice thing is the stone isn't uh, breaking on me. I wonder if it could actually be used to make a proper like fire hammer that like doesn't break after one use, unlike the fruits. Ice was always annoying.
Oh, that's a one-handed. This'll do. Come on, phase two. Let's see what this phase two is. I think it's coming. Just be on the safe side. Stuff my gob a little bit. A good try telling, but it's not gonna work. Oh, this is cool. I see what's going on here. Oh, fuck you. Oh, that dick. Wait a minute, that didn't save to my compendium. Yeah, it did, it did. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, not paying attention. Three down, one to go. Not tonight, though. Good work out there, team. What do I have for the different like, like pieces? There's a shock one. So, can I just like... Okay, so it's not a wand. It's an actual like shock hammer. Cool. More than one use for an elemental. Also, while the Firestone seems to affect your maximum, your minimum, I wonder if, if I had an ice on a weapon and a fire, I could basically be like immune to both temperatures <laughs> if I paired the two together. So that's a cool thing to think about. I'd have to find some ice-like likes, which I don't even think I've seen yet. Not that I remember. Well. The stable should be near the shrine. Oh, yeah. Tell you what. I'll head over here, mark the shrine, and I'm going to stop the stream and start in front of the quest start 
and next time I'll do the Great Furry Quest. You tried feeding a frost fruit to a regular like like. It doesn't work to shift them into an elemental. Oh, that would be cool if it did that. There's gotta be a way to like manipulate that. I know you can with chew jellies. What if hang on, hang on. Here's a thought. What if you just take a regular like like stone? And let's take a little. Will this work with a chill shroom? No, it doesn't have an effect. Uh, ice berries. Here we go. Let's try it on a fucking. Nope. So, nothing like chew jellies. Maybe next stream I'll head for the fire temple. Is that a fucking bear? Grizzle mob bear. How about you grizzle mob nuts? You could ride bears and and meese in Breath of the Wild. There were a few silver lionels out here in Breath of the Wild that I used to farm. Oh, I already have this. I've been here. Yeah, I wish they'd upgraded the registry system a bit, let you just register anything you can ride. So I guess this is where the Gazette quest starts. not this stable. There is the other one over this way. Or somewhere around here. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, I'm thinking of that place that has the stage. Yeah, I was in a grassy area. I have seen it. I didn't actually, like, do anything with it. It seemed important or something special, so I left it. Oh. No, no, wait. I'm thinking of a later thing, I guess. There was a couple musicians on a stage, but I guess that's a later part of the quest. Clover Gazette. Okay, so this is where I start the Great Fairy Quest. I love all the different Rito designs. Okay. This is a thing that I'm going to save for next time because it is 1.38 in the morning. <laughs> One they feared. Okay. I'm going to be very confused in a couple days. I already said it twice. Okay. Uh...
It's late. I should stop. No cast in this game, huh? That's a pity. I liked Cass. He was a good lad. I guess he fucking died. I'm surprised he wasn't playable in Age of Calamity. Knowing how far they can deepen, scrub the barrel. <laughs> I mean, uh, Age of Calamity. Alright, night guys.